Last time on D&D. The party ventured further southwards, aiming to take out the Gulfias. Aiming to... <laughs> Aiming to take out the Golfias tree and end the blight fret in the south of Raxus. However, we're going back in time by a few weeks. Flashback. Flashback. A few weeks ago. Bloom, 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 bloom. There was a cave that they came across. Inside was a face that they recognized. With a voice they recognized. Well, Priam did. Because they let him get away. He pleaded for salvation. To be spared from this threat of having his soul eaten by a Vargas, it was Yemek the Goblin. The Raxus party did indeed save him. They helped the goblins, they slaughtered the ones who betrayed, but that's okay. He asked them to do that, because they're filthy traitor bastards. What's the lesson of the day? Loyalty. Loyalty is key. But now we're going back to those goblins. In their cave, in their den, they're a simple fuck-up kind of goblin. They don't have Grandoy's plans of conquest. Yemek has repeatedly told them that they are not to go near a villages because it will just get them burned out. But, for a couple of goblins, they're about to get a job. They're about to be told what the fuck to do. And it was explained to them in that very moment as they were, as they were summoned. As one of the runner goblins... Uh, what was his name again? The one in the bush. I think he was Yorick. Yes. As he passes by each of your little dens and your habits and where you're just lounging around. Telling you that Yemek wants you in the fucking throne room immediate fucking Lee. Before he panics and says, that was his words, not mine. <laughs> Yorick, what are you doing out of your bush? Uh, the boss just said I had to do some running because I wasn't stopping anything. Look at my leg! The wheel went over it. That's all because that pointy-eared one told me to get in the road. Uh, if I could show that it, that pointy-eared one, wow, what a thing. Yeah, I just need you to go to the throne room, okay? Ah, shut up, get back to your bush. I'm going, I'm going. So, and then... As you're walking, hurry up to Yemek because, uh, because I don't want to get crushed in. <laughs> <laughs> one by one, you filter into the throne room, which still fucking reeks of oil. It is filled with bouquets. It is filled with so many wildflowers that have been hauled out and stuffed in there. They have tried cooking meat in there, although they were a bit wary striking a flame immediately. There have there were a few goblin women still flapping blankets and sheets around, trying to get the smell out, but it still reeks of when he flooded with oil. The rest of the hideout is well traveled enough that it's not much of an issue. And Yemek sits there upon the throne, fingers pyramided, as he watches you all filter in one by one. Why, hello, lady. Shut up! Alright, fuck wits. He hops off the throne, starting to march down. Let's get a look at you again. Yelmik, good man, stand up straight. Suck in those chins, fit cut. Jablonska, pleasure to have you here. Of course. As he backs up steadily from Bornegi. Watch it, fizz fingers. Keep it keep it calm, keep it calm. Twig, nice of you to be... F get a bath, you fucking cunt. <laughs> and Wapang. Good on the knuckles. Good. So, I have called you fuckwits here for a very specific point. We are shafted when it comes to winter. True, true, our food stores will last longer now we have half a tribe. But what a fucking half of a tribe. I mean, you're the best I've got. Fuck. Except for you, Yolmik. And you, Jablonska, you're precious. Now, I need you all... To leave the cave, peruse the territory, and bring back whatever you can find that's useful. We need meat, we need loot, we need metal, we need gold, we need every fucking thing. We are desperately poor at the moment. Also, you know, find out what's around. That could be important too. I want you all back. Mostly. As he just slowly turns his head to Twig. And then the Bornegi. Yes, if we could have most of you back, that would be appropriate. 
Ow. I give him a dirty look when he's not looking. Boss, why do you want a musical instrument? Why not? Slowly his head turns the whip hang. Did I say you get questions? Did yeah, I say you get questions, piss, piss squeak? Good, good man, fit cut. Stop looking at that vial. But yes, I need you to go out there, forage, find out. We need to know something because all the fucking hunters turned traitor and now they're dead. Without that, we have no idea what's outside this cave properly. Except, of course, we have the towns. Don't go to the towns. The moment you guys start wrecking up the towns, that's when fucking heroes show up, or adventurers, or mercenaries, or exterminators, all those various kinds of titles for people who kill goblins. But if we have coin, easy enough to get in. No bother there. Now, any questions except for you, Whipang, you used yours. What if it's a farm? Can we steal animals? If it's a farm with people on it, half the animals. Okay. Don't get caught. If you get caught, yeah. kill him, make it look like an accident. Yeah, you hear that? Don't get caught. Anyone else? Do, do we have to? Yes. You do what the boss says. Yeah. Exactly what they said, exactly that. Listen, Fizzfingers, you're a big risk in this cave. I'm willing to let that go if you're useful. Useful is being not a crater. Also, blow on those fucking fingers, they're still smoking. When he turns to look away from me, I just kind of mouth blow in your own fingers. Yeah. He clanks around you in his heavy ass armor. <laughs> So, get the fuck out! I told you what to do. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, go. Okay, go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right, okay, right. okay. And so you all clatter yourselves out. Well, after of course taking any possessions, any little mementos you might think you need. It's a big place out there. He didn't really give you an idea of when to come back either. <laughs> but you imagine it's when you've got something worthwhile. As you so step, what should we get? <laughs> Oh, he did say he wanted the loot. Yeah, but what kind of loot? I guess we're going to have to ask a bard about that. What? You just take things that's shiny or, or, or edible. Yeah, but it has to be a good shiny. Yeah. So what's a good shiny? Gold Real shiny. shiny. Silver shiny. Meat shiny. Preferably gold shiny. This being said, as they walk out of a cave, with it echoing back to the throne room. <laughs> and a very faint distant fuck <laughs> can be heard. Oh, can we kick over? I can't believe a kick over won't let me ride her. I don't have... answer everything. I have nine in. I'm confident in my speech that it is correct. And so you step out into, into the great wide world. It is daylight. It's a little unsettling, but he told you to get the fuck out, so you better get the fuck out. <laughs> it's a chilly autumn. Although in your case, it's leaf fall down season. I hate leaf fall down. Okay, so we don't know what... So, I have an idea to figure out how we where we go first. We got to play spin the goblin. <laughs> Twig! Get over here! Uh, yeah. Close your eyes! Okay. Okay. And then I... And then I pick him up, and I start... And I just... And I start just spinning around, like, uh... This is a good time, Twig, to explain what your character looks like. <laughs> a large... Well, it would be large goblin. Yep. Um, a bit more hair than usual. Um, covered in a cloak with a lot of moss, fungus, generally bad smelling and terrible to touch. You should probably make a con save at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And Thick Cut, who are you? Thick Cut is the biggest, baddest at the gimmick, of course. In the whole cave, he's the strongest and the fattest. Because I, because I beat up anyone else who isn't gonna bring you a share of the food. And so you lift him up, twirling him around. And then I'll let go. <laughs> Do you try to put him in a direction or just let go and walk away? Let go and I, I like I'm spinning around and I uh, just let go and see which direction he's pointing when he lands. <laughs> You know, deep down, you only actually score a point if he lands on his head first, then his feet. <laughs> Twig, roll a 1d4. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do I have to roll to actually um, end up pointing back towards the cave? It would have been a 1. <laughs> okay. In this case, you're pointing... Uh, let's see. Oh, you're pointing to the east. You know that's... The only thing you guys know about the East offhand is that's where the traitors and the Bargast went. I'm sure it's fine. Well, seeing as they've been just been killed, there might be loot to steal off the bodies. Yeah. It has been a week, but I mean, who's going to pick a goblin corpses? That means no need for spells. <laughs> we can just take... And so, with your destination determined through a very fair method, <clears throat> Twig, you pick yourself up and have even more detritus clinging to you. Because, you know, sometimes the goblins are a bit lazy and just chuck their shit out from at the f mouth of the cave. All kinds of leftovers fine. and scraps and shit. Yep, this is good. Yep. Looking good there, Twig. Better than the floor. It felt harder than the floor. The floor usually had a rug. But so you set off eastwards. It's a daunting journey. You guys, well, you will make twig. You guys have been out and about. Thick cut, you've not really gone past the cave entrance a hell of a lot. You've usually done a few circles, and that's about it. Unfortunately, the warg that you used to ride fucked the way off of the traders. For Jablonska and Wipang, this is really your first time out of a cave at all. It's a big open sky. A lot of cloud cover, but it's way up there. Every bush and tree could hide all kinds of things that like to devour green skin flesh. You've all been warned constantly by Yimmick about all the dangers that could lurk outside, mainly fucking traitors. Soul eating Vargas. You now know that's a thing. That's a problem. You guys might have grown up never knowing about that, but then it came rapping on the door. It's even worse knowing that some of you were friends with that Bargast for a while. At least, you know, acquaintances that didn't hit each other. It's a small grass path, very simple enough. A few bits of forest, you can see the remnants of a campfire as well. A few ro a few frogs hopping about in a small stream. A bit chilly. Feet are aching. It's a bit of a walk. For two of you, this isn't a problem at all, of course, but for the rest, it's a little... it's new. Alright, that was a nice detail in the first 100 feet. How about the next 200 feet? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually about nearly a day's travel at that point. But yes, as continuing going on, you do get the little glimpse right up ahead. The crumbled walls of a ruined village. Where, yeah, it's been told that was the last sight of the other half of the tribe. And you can see figures very distantly. Small ones, hunched. Just between a few of the tree lines. Do we know if the Bargast is gone? I think it's gone. Who said? I mean... I mean, those adventure types came back, right? Why don't you go check? Yeah, sadly, they were only able to bring back the he the body of Thing Cut. We say body because the head didn't get inside the cave. Yemek destroyed that. But he did. Oh my God. He seemed to believe that the Bargus was gone. 
You guys know because you spent about a couple of days cleaning out the oil from the cave. <laughs> I would go up there and check out what who they are. So, who's the sneakiest of you lot? You're goblins. Shit, it's me, isn't it? No, but seriously, you're all goblins. You've all got snelf. Do we? I don't. It's a, t it's a tag skill. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to be sneaky, roll your stealths. That beautiful fucking six. That's uh, medium armor, so it doesn't interfere. Uh, and I have disadvantage because it's chainmail. <laughs> yep. Oof. Oh. It's rusted heavy chainmail as well. Yeah. Gross. Look, don't worry, I'll, I'll stay back here. Make sure no one sneaks up on you while you find out what's going clank, on. Clank, clank, clank. <laughs> There's just this moment where he, you know, stretches the big guts straining the army. You just hear two rusted plates scraping against each other. One of the rings just fucking pops and you see a line fall down and clatter its way down his leg armor. Ah. <laughs> but you're still a good distance away, so maybe it didn't carry. Nature is noisy after all. There's all those birds singing about fucking... <laughs> So, are you all standing there sneaky-beaky, or are you going to do something? Let us approach. Can we, uh, can we get an idea of what the figures are? Are they, are they goblinish? Are they something? Give me a perception check if you're trying to get them out from this distance. They're quite far away. That's a good one. That looks to you like a goblin. That's the right sort of height, the right sort of shape, the right sort of emanation of smell and flies buzzing around. Okay. It no looks like a goblin eyes. that's a bit drunk. Because they don't seem to be standing that steady. They're drunk. Let us approach. They may have something to share. Otherwise, we'll just beat them out of them if they don't want to share. Now, let's get you guys arranged. So, yeah, you'll be coming from the south, so to do. There we go. Whenever you were approaching, however, you did see the figure there. Between the two buildings. The only gesture is for the most sneaky of the trying the sneaky goblins to go forward and check it out slowly, cautiously. Yeah, y'all, like, go up there, get him. I forgot to get cheats ready. Uh, let's see here, so... This one should be all I need. The droop sheet. Anyway. Let's <laughs> monstrosities. And there's our trees. Yep. Sneaking through the trees. I have about 30 feet. Oh no, don't have to worry about movement distance right now. You're not an initiative. Never. Just go, you know, sort of a bit steady. Just so I can keep track of what I tell you, just back the fuck up. Stop about right there. Roll a perception check. Use my incredible one. See something? Hey. Hey. He's a disadvantage because he's lost an eye. No, it's fine. You do see you do see a fair bit, but just to be in that position, you do get to see the goblin that is standing there. He looks a lot... He doesn't look very healthy. Not at all. In fact, you're willing to say that's a dead goblin that's standing up. Well, that's a problem. It's not usually normal. And yeah, the bush... The bushes and trees here are pretty damn thick. That's bigger than thick cut. <laughs> but only just. 
Let's see. That way. And it's just standing there. But actually, without perception check, you do hear a muffled voice. Partially muffled, but you don't understand the words it's saying. Hmm. Doesn't sound like goblin, doesn't sound like common. But it's some sort of... Like, it's got a flow to it. And slowly it starts to shift and walk and shuffle down the street. Okay. While the up, while Whipang and Twig, you see one start to walk along, and you can tell up close here that is a fucking zombie goblin. And you can hear more of them stepping around, just aimlessly. Although, sadly. I attach the last pionage up into this bush and take it for a walk around. Yeah, you're still hidden in the bush, but it's getting close. <clears throat> and yeah, with that there, I can reveal this bit. There's a few more wandering about. They've been... They don't really have anything on them, though. They've just got... Like, you can see on their hands, wherever it should be flesh, it seems to have been shredded back intentionally. So what's this black space on this building over to the left? Is that a closed door or just wall? That would be just wall. Hang on. There we go. Right. Because I can only do this in rectangles. One of them slowly... Signals, yellow like signals to the group to pull back a little bit to regroup and report. What do you see? See a few of these shambling corpses, and I hear a weird voice. Cops just don't walk. Nah, it's chanting. I don't recognize it. Works, be goblin. Key girl always talks to me, tells me things, calls you a nerd. What? No. Hang on. That one already calls me a nerd. <laughs> what, you can argue with her? Sadly, he clatters forward. Quite noisily. <laughs> <laughs> Even zombies are going to pick up on that. <laughs> Biscuits. Oh, shit. What did you... <laughs> <laughs> Look at these initiative rolls. Beautiful. Oh, boy. Fucking hell. <laughs> They're moving like zombies. <laughs> They're slower than the uptake than fig card is. <laughs> so let's see here whip hang it's your moment you feel tense and ready to go because you heard thick cut clanking around you don't want to get beat again he sat on you last time but importantly who is whip hang Pang, the nimble monk goblin who's a hit with the ladies. At least he thinks. <laughs> He's got a minus three charisma, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> he does. But that's all you need with a goblin woman. He thinks he's a hit with the ladies. I don't know, he's, yes. he is the most handsome. The amount of stuff thrown at him, he must be adored. <laughs> They keep throwing underwear at him and saying, wash this. <laughs> Obviously, it's in praise. And the fruit and the vegetables. <laughs> they keep coming. All the ripest as well. Yes. The most fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> Probably does have a bundle of flowers stuffed in his vest. You've not but really first, heard he the call. He must deal with the interloper front in front of him before it gets to the party. Well, you've not really heard a call for attack or anything. You just noticed that they all snapped their heads in the direction of the clanking fat boy. <laughs> the clanking fat boy. Yeah. It's in up that to case, you. Uh, this right there. I'll ready an action to attack. Use my attack action if that one in front of me gets too close. Because at the moment I'm safe. Yeah, doesn't know you're there. 
Bornegee Fizz Fingers. Who the fuck are you? I, I, I'm just... I, I can use the spells, but it's, it's not fair. Like, every time I do, it hurts. And it's not yeah. fair. Twig doesn't have this problem. They keep telling me to do it. I just... Can we just go? And indeed, you do have fizzy fingers. Yeah. They're just burned from all the magic, and I, I feel like I'm just a walking bomb. If I get too stressed, I might cast a spell, and it might go away. Indeed. So, what are you going to do for combat? What am I going to do? Okay, they're up there. Uh, I'm going to retreat farther into the bush. By like going forwards? <laughs> Because nobody said attack, um, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and then hold my action. Okay, roll me a D hunt one hundred. <laughs> Spin the wheel. <laughs> oh no! It's great. I don't I don't like it when he laughs. Roll me a D one thousand. Oh, oh he's using the big list. I'm using a few hits from it. Okay. Yolmik, Twig, Jablonska. You're the ones who notice this first as Bornegi's mouth starts to open. You see her jaw start to distend as this huge chunk of bone starts to emerge from it. Then you think, no, it's too shiny for that. It looks like maybe ivory? As a huge dragon-looking tooth emerges from her mouth. And then followed by 229 other assorted teeth. <laughs> just building up into a pile in front of her as she just keeps retching. Oh, we're taking that back. Shiny. The worst part is, this all happens in the span of six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> there, it gets to a point How where the bigger ones start back? making shrapnel of the ones already fallen. Uh. But hey, you've got your Tides of Chaos power. <laughs> <laughs> Jablonska. Uh. I'm going to pick up my, my three pebbles and make the magic. Move here and get ready to throw. We're ready to dump that pile of teeth. Yeah, because we're taking that back. <laughs> it, ma it makes a horrific crunching sound only for sandals. Oh. It's bone rubbing against dry bone. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. <laughs> you feel it right at the back we of the jaw. You should feel great. That means we have to find less. <laughs> oh, my throat hurts. Yes, Yolmik will be pleased with a fuck ton of teeth. <laughs> hey, teeth are useful. Especially that big one. With Jablonska. big one, definitely. With Jablonska. Yeah. Carding her free glowing stones ready for anything. Twig! Okay. Twig is going to prepare. Um, can Twig see any of them from here? Not really. From where you're standing, like that one here, has total cover. Okay. And the walls are a good, like, five to six feet tall. But you get an idea of where they are from the smell. It's very familiar. It's mostly you. Okay, I'm gonna sneak my way over here with my my stealth roll I got earlier. Yeah, since you guys haven't done anything active, you haven't revealed yourselves just yet, apart from Fit Cut. They know where Fit Cut is. <laughs> but your stealth rolls are still applying because you haven't really done any well, actually Bornegi as well, because everyone can hear two hundred and thirty fucking teeth rattling around <laughs> in a bush. <laughs> And a retching goblin. <laughs> if you've thrown up in a sink before, this is so much worse. This is everything coming out. Sharp. From here, I'm assuming I can see the one up there. Oh yeah, clear shot. Okay, I'm gonna chilling touch that one. Nice, you lich slap him. Oh dear. As you reach out, a ghostly, goblinish hand slides out from your own, winding its way through the vacant air before reaching around. It does a slow stroke around the back of the neck before it just starts to apply pressure, and then the neck is gone and the head rolls off. 
That's a dead gobbo. Properly dead now. He never saw it coming. Yulmik. I creep up into this bush and ready in action to drop an arrow in any monster that moves in my direction or tries to eat that gut. Yeah. Maybe. You guys are a real pack of turtles, you know that? <laughs> Fit cut. I, I'm yeah. afraid to use my... Got to walk up here, see the dead one, and walk up further and go, Yeah, that must happen to me, you call me a nerd? <laughs> Get him, bad boy. As he shouts it aloud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the melodious voice stops. Well, now that they've got a new noise, we're going to follow it. <laughs> also, since you... Also, I still have my... I've got to prepare for anything that tries to move in towards me with my lance. Hmm. Half a fucking team have prepared an action for when something gets close. <laughs> well, I moved up here to yell at this thing. <laughs> I, at I, least I'm a visible target. Yeah. But as you watch, dead versions of your own race. Oh, that one! That one I will be able to attack because I have reach with lands. Yeah. Before it even reaches. Ooh. Well, yeah. Yeah, I will be able to attack it there. Just saying. I'm pretty sure that one on the right should have uh, procked an attack from Yelmik. It's like Yelmik's ready to dash in as well. Uh, actually, from the way he came in, real, it's a bit awkward. Just yeah. because. Questionable. Twig could have likely seen him. Twig already. Uh, already Twig was the only one who actually used an attack. Yeah. He's not biding his time. <laughs> I did things. Yes. I killed one. It's not fair. His fingers don't burn. The lance hits. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lances are very strong. You oh, yeah, but that. it's rare it's re that I uh, actually roll high. <laughs> yep, as you ram it through, though, a lot of stuff comes out through, through it, and shit, it's still walking towards you while on the lance. <laughs> 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 and the gobbo takes a swipe. <clears throat> Ooh, I bet it actually hits. Yeah, Ooh. especially because I don't have the... Right now, my AC is 60 because I don't have a shield. I have yeah. to use the lance two handed Well, they're only a plus three, but yeah. As these just shredded and flayed hands just start clubbing at you with no skill, no dexterity at all. <laughs> but yeah, go, actually, go ahead, Yolmik. You can take the shot on the other zombie. Yeah, that was a wrong thing to click on. Keep yeah, it's in your attack list in the middle. There it is. Yeah. That's a hit. And... A good, solid shafting. The arrow lodges in. It sort of tumbles slightly on the... as it catches a bit of rotten tissue and just sort of slowly leans inside. And you just see an upright arrow sitting in the ribcage of his goblin. Nice. But it still shuffles. So, Every day it's shuffling. They see me shuffling, they hate me. You hear that there's one starting to shift in this building, but then that odd voice comes in again. And the shuffling stops. Whip hang. Thankfully, nothing came close to you. It was obviously fended off by your amazing smile. Oh, well, I better go and help my rest of them. And I club it with my staff. You need to move one more step. Because there's a yes, wall between you. <laughs> there you go. He's got 40 feet of movement anyway, but still. <laughs> you take careful aim. You lunge and swipe, and the back of a stick clutter clatters off a wall, and you just sort of judder it in your hands. Wow, oh, bugger. Can I, do I actually have to hit to use that bonus action? No, you just have to no. use the attack action. Yep. 
So go ahead, roll your unarmed if you want to do it. There you go, as you just draw back one hand or, or a foot and just launch in. But it stays standing as you just collapse part of its Ooh. side. It folds in on itself. But it's still ready for to punch. You feel like, though, you took it down all the way, ignoring that arrow that you snapped in half inside it. <laughs> Fizz fingers. You've finally stopped retching and vomiting. Okay. Jablonska is ankle deep in teeth. teeth. Yeah, we're gonna get away from that teeth. I don't feel so good. I should be able to levitate or animate object. Okay. And and because uh, reasons, and I can't trip again. Just make sure I don't have anything better I can do. Is there a way to check range on these um, without? Like posting them. The uh, snap to center tool, you can use it to draw a line and it tells you the range. No, I mean, okay, so I'm not talking about my spells, like how it's the range on my spells. It's not a search in the compendium than a compare and contrast. Well, also, if you go to your spells, you can click uh -huh. the gear on them and that'll tell you all of your statistics. Ah, okay. And... Because I realized, yeah, the only time he played something with spells, it was when we weren't using Roll20. Yep. I've never used a spellcaster. Okay. I'm I'm gonna help, because I, I see that, that he's in trouble. Yep. I'm gonna use the power of rainbow. Okay, roll me a d100. No, um... So I'll submit that first. Yep, color spray. And then roll a D100. 72. For a moment, Bornegy, you're thinking, oh god, this is going to be it. Because you feel your the whole exterior of yourself start to tense up and start to draw <laughs> in. You're thinking, oh fuck no, it's about to rupture. You have resistance to all damage for the next minute. I'm okay with this. <laughs> And as you unleash Color Spray, sadly you're noticing they've got quite milky white eyes. And they're animated by magic and they probably don't use their senses. Shit. I was pretty sure that you just hit me. Yeah, he's in the 15 foot cone. Yeah. So roll the dice for it. Roll 60 <laughs> 10. No, I, I stand by my decision. <laughs> Do you have 20 HP or, le or less if it cuts? No. No. So there's just searing, just searing display of colors. You blink a few times, it's still there, but you can see the rest of the world as well. But man, that's going to stick with you for a while. Taste the rainbow. Yep. <laughs> I, I still stand by what I did. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Jablonska on your mound of teeth. Wretched up from the throat of, <laughs> of Bornegy. It's so good. You resist the urge to clap at all the colors. But they're all so pretty. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Including the eighth one. Uh, no, that one's always confusing. So what does the does it actually do? It You're stuns. Blinded. Well, blind, uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's pretty much a, a flashbang spell. Each creature affected by the spell is blinded. Until the spell ends, so yeah. Which means you have disadvantage and everything has advantage against you. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're lucky you rolled low. Mm-hmm. I, I did roll pretty come low. Up here. And toss one of my magic stones. Uh, which one? That one. He will have cover. Because Fick Cut is thickly in the way. <laughs> but you still hit. For seven bludgeoning. It's a good... 
thick cut you just see you just feel your ear sort of wiggle as a stone whizzes past it in a small like circular arc and then it just clonks the zombie on the head impacting and lodging in there <clears throat> and it does not stay standing as the stone just slowly starts to seep in and seems to push the weight on it and then the rest of its size starts to come apart like un like bad stitching and it slides off your lance yeah. I'm, I'm going to assume it's still stuck on the lens. No, no. Like I said, it's falling in the side, just splits apart. Mm. So your lance is now freed up. And we have a happy exclamation from Jablonska. Who is she? Jablonska Needlestick is the cleric of the group. I'm an actual healer, and the trees and bushes speak to me. <laughs> they won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> wonder what she could be referring to. Twig, you're up. <laughs> if only Rain was here to hear that. And I'm an actual healer. <laughs> so good. Also, I like to make magic stones. And can give them out freely if you want one. <laughs> I'm going to peek around this corner and see what's up here. Alright, as you scrabble around, having having a good old gander. Luckily, as you let go of your breath, the building is empty. Okay. So it was a shrubbery area. But, you do notice a simple path to two of the zombies. And yeah, I'll say, since you've probably got a good passive, you can see through it to see one shuffling along here. Okay. Can I uh, launch a spell at any of those? Um, got hmm. so much. It... It have pretty good cover. You're looking at about plus eight of her AC, but they have shit AC being zombies. Although, yeah, let's see. It would just be that one up north of you. This one straight north? Yeah, because you're firing okay. through a whole shrubbery. Yep, I won't. You can give it's... it a go. Nah. Nah. The hand gets confused and starts trying to pull off some of the twigs and branches in the way. But it starts to dissipate before it can get to the target. Okay. And then... That'll be the end of my turn. Yep. And with that... Another creature's turn comes up. Because it has less dexterity. Uh, let's see where to go. There I put it on the bottom, it has less dexterity. There we go. Rattling and clattering comes. In heavier armor of an even thick cut, a bone boy. Oh no. Stripped of flesh, nothing but magic infused bone stepping forth. Taking one look at you, Zapang, you can see through his dark glowing pits. It just seemed to sort of draw away any material near them as it raises up a big sword. But luckily misses, despite almost cleaving you in two. But you managed to just oh sort God, of stop. God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> hey! Hey! He has a big weapon! That shiny? He it does? Is? Where? I can't see! It's not shiny, but it is a very big sword, yes. Also, if I cut your right fucking there. <laughs> You're tasting the rainbow, though. Yeah, that's what, that's what I said. I can't see, does he? Yolmik. No, well, this zombie looks pretty wrecked. I'm going to launch an arrow right at that big clanky boy. A 14 bounces off the heavy plate armor. Shit. And I continue hiding in this bush. Keep him watch. Uh, give me a self roll, then, if you're going to hide. I mean, it did... It yeah. doesn't see you, but it did see an arrow fly through the bush. So maybe the bush is armed. <laughs> armed bushes, huh? Thick cut. Okay, I think I got this one. I, I, I think it's dead. Uh, I'm gonna have to roll here because I only see three shapes in front of me. I don't know which one is a goblin and which one is an enemy. <laughs> You're not blinded. <laughs> It only affects you if your HP was 20 or lower. It's like sleep. 
Yeah, my HP was lower. I'm at 16. I have 22 in, uh, oh. in total. When I, I asked did. if you had 20 or lower, you said no. But okay. I You're think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I said that I didn't have. Yeah. I didn't have 20. You asked about 20. I said, no, I don't have 20. Yeah, I asked if you have 20 or lower. You said no. Anyway, get on with it. You're blinded. Yeah, I think he was saying, like, no, I don't have higher than 20. Yeah. But I asked him if he had lower. Yeah, but I'm blind. That's what I'm saying. So I oh, I see three in front of me. I don't know which one. So... Hey, make noise so he knows where you are. There's one near you. Roll a d4. Because yeah. one blob is bigger. <laughs> it's the zombie. Yeah, and charge <laughs> one square because I can actually reach him from here. The lads. Eleven does not hit. <laughs> as you just, as back. you run past and just in front of of what Pang's nose and the goblin's own rotten one, just a lance lodges itself in the wall. <laughs> I yep. think I got him. For a moment, I got him. For a moment, the other side of that wall looked like a lethal glory hole. <laughs> It's time for the zombies. This one looks at the meat. That's what it's going for. It doesn't care if it's covered in metal. It's going for the meat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Nine on thick cuts. As, it, as this fucking zombie rings your bell. Trying to open up my can of spam. Hang out. As the rest start shuffling in. <laughs> Guys, this is a tough one. This is tough armor. <laughs> it is. Yeah, as they it's all like look... a brick wall. <laughs> it is a wall. No, it is. It's a zombie. I saw it myself. A normal hit for that. That misses Wapang, Luckily. Well, Pang, you're in the center of where you don't want to be right now. <laughs> but you're also center stage, which is where you want to be. I look good for the ladies. As you look behind you to them. I give them the wink and the uh, thumbs up. And then I go along and try for the bone boy. Great hit. Oh. Roll 20 handing out them. <laughs> you jinxed it, you know that, right? <laughs> That's not right, hang oh. on. You don't have your fucking modifier on that. That'll be why. Yeah. Modifier supposed to You've be. got to set it to your plus, dex. So your dex is plus, plus four, four, so that's eight altogether. Are you sure? Wouldn't that be 12? No, because he doesn't get his modifier on the second dice. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just eight. But yeah, as you bring it round, you strike hard at the waist. You feel something crumple underneath. But it's still standing there. Kind of impassable. It's leaning a little more to one side, but it's still got that big fuck-off sword. In that case, I'm going to punch it. Remember, as a goblin, you could just disengage. Instead, you just this bring your... Instead, you just bring your fist in, ram it against the chest plate... And you just manage to keep your grin as you feel your hand throb against the metal. Yoch! Because you were going up Pick against up the, the white again, weren't you? A wink. Yeah. <laughs> a wink with a tear. <laughs> I'm not impressed. The shrimp slides very, very, very quietly. But longly. But it's nice to see someone else's hands hurt for a change. Yep. Fizz fingers, speaking of. There's a lot more zombies coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, at the time of his turn, there is a v that melodious voice is incredibly exasperated. It sounds very angry, and it's coming from this building. Um, okay, uh, I guess. Okay. I'm still up. Make him uh, hurt, Barnegay. Not wanting to use another spell. I'm gonna <laughs> run up and. <laughs> You've got Love cantrips. It. Cantrips are fine. You could also use your Tides of Chaos to do extra damage and shit. I know, but but I I'm, I don't want. That don't give you advantage. Never mind. It might uh, it might hurt me. 
So aren't you glad? Uh, Wait, you hurt more. The zombie <laughs> hit it. You hit the zombie, yeah. No, actually, no. It's got it. one higher. No. <laughs> okay. Um, I forgot what some of these tokens aren't. Yeah, I gave them different stats slightly. I think that's it. I tried. You could use your bonus to disengage and use the rest of your movement. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All of you could do that, being goblins. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna disengage and go back here. Just reminding, mobility is one of the things you guys have. And that's my turn. No, it's not. Roll a d100. <laughs> of course it isn't. For refusing to use the magic welling up inside you. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> you glow with bright light in a 30 foot radius for the next minute well at least everyone friends. knows where you are now. you are a bright shining beacon <laughs> I'm even more blinded now <laughs> on the bright side with Pang oh. you're pretty sure you look awesome being backlit like this also these zombies don't appear to need sight anyway so that doesn't <laughs> doesn't matter for them the white does look at you, though. Mm. See, now you're torn because you're thinking, I should heal him, but that's my action gone. Yeah. Now you see why it's tough being a real healer. No. The difficult decision is, do I use the band-aid or the medicine? <laughs> The spell slots, the band-aid or the medicine. <laughs> yeah. But, um... I could stick a needle in that. I'm going to use the medicine. Exsanguination is very popular among... <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> you don't know what happened. You almost turned around to fight back. But then you feel better. <laughs> no, no, his blindness is worn off now. Oh, yeah. End of his turn. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Any other movement? Bonus? You could pass some stones. Uh, yeah, I'll hand a stone off to uh, Bornegy. If they're not oh, going to use the magic, at least use my magic. And then I'm going to... Can I retreat around this wall like that? Is, is it the halfway rule? Or... Hmm? Where do you want to go? Uh, there. Is uh, that yeah. the halfway rule, or...? No, there's no halfway rule. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the halfway rule is basically, like, if you're half on it, you can... You know, like, if it's more than half, you can't. If it's less than half, you can't. Also, but, I, yeah. I've got to add a turn to the tracker now. She rolled very poorly, despite being a fucking elf. On the... <laughs> On the bright side, you guys get to meet someone familiar. Oh. Stri no. I, I know that icon. Stepping out from the hut. Dressed in the various accumulated rags of the dead goblins, you're assuming. <laughs> is a very pale elven woman with dark hair. With oh. no wand, no spell book, but a lot of energy crackling around her hands and looking very pissed off. But once again, someone is interrupting her essential work. And she calls out at you, a cut, at you with Pang. She's not impressed. But she goes through a few words of Elvish, sees it, of course. No, they don't understand. Why not? Tries in common. Why are you miserable little bastards here? Fuck off! Give us shinies! Fuck you! I'm so sick of this shit! Why, hello there! <laughs> <laughs> Just for that, you're the one who's getting attacked. <laughs> uh, let's uh, see, did I give her great? Why did you... Wait, Pang, you did generous. <laughs> I love them all! No matter what species. <laughs> That's a very big claim. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, why is it not showing as an attack anyway? As she shoots a ray of frost at you. Oof. That's it's only a plus five. I haven't fiddled with these because this is the big sheet I use for all of them. But yeah, still hits. 
That should only be two damage. And you are slowed down yeah. by ten feet. Man, that's why Kickroll didn't want to come with us. <laughs> but yeah, she just locks <laughs> eyes with you and gives you a very cold shoulder. Zapang, or Wapang. You just gotta get there to warm up to you. <laughs> Twig! <Some> feisty one. <laughs> Twig is going to move up and hide in this bush. Oh, you need to give me a stealth roll if you're trying for it. Oh. Yeah, as long as it's any my bone. Well, actually, yeah, you have done a few things to get rid of your stealth, so yeah. You feel that you're kind of hidden? Not from most of them. Okay, and I'm going to, once again, chilling touch the closest one. All right, you got advantage on that one. That Doesn't one, help. luckily, is one of the weaker ones. Okay. But not that weak. <laughs> as, uh... as, once again, the skeletal goblin hand just wraps around the neck and just sort of sits there, drums its fingers a little bit, just sort of sits... Oh, well. I mean, it's health it doesn't have anymore. Yolmik. Yolmik. Right. Uh, hmm. Arrow that light again. See if it pokes harder this time. Nope. As the arrow just zooms off into the air, you're probably not getting that one back. Nope. You can yeah, relocate. Let's see. Probably should. Angle. Yep. 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 And reroll still through that. Yeah, if you want to. So you could just be a goblin in a bush. But you can nope. be. A, if you want to use your bonus nice. action, you can be a hidden goblin in a bush. I do, in fact, want to be a hidden goblin in a bush. You feel pretty hidden. As you just look look at Jablonski, look at Bornegi, look at Thick Cut, and then you just lower yourself into the shrubbery. The Homer Simpson thing. Yep. Thick Cut. Okay. You uh, can see. It, so I'm pretty pretty much with the uh, land stuck in the wall at the moment. I've got to get, let go of the lands, and then I've got to draw out my hand axe. Uh, can I also equip the shield? Eh, I'll allow it. It's usually an action, but fuck it. For the I simple fact that you're not going to be able to pick up your lance immediately. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's stuck on the wall, so I'm just going to attack the zombie right next to me. Ah, there you are, you slippery bastard. I gotta... You might have survived the first hit, but can you survive this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And she just scraped the, bla the rusted, shitty blade against the wall. Ah, where's the opponent I see? <laughs> the zombie's not even you looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> Although it is now, it heard the scraping. So let's see, movement first as these ones wander down. Uh, there's no movement, it's just that they can't heal, but then they're undead, they can't heal anyway. Okay, that one takes a uh, halo of spores. Is that a reaction you can do? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's oh, it's necrotic damage, okay. No, doesn't save, takes the four. Yeah, let's see here, so... One against Wapang. One on Fick Cut. Nice. Yes! <laughs> Fick Cut is fucking cursed. <laughs> uh, one for Bornegi. Does a 15 hit Bornegi? I believe that's a hit. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Ooh, five bludgeoning. Oof. Also, roll me a deep. No, actually, it's only two. You're currently resistant. Oh, yeah, I wasn't sure of that. How long did that last? Uh, it's going to last no, another one. eight rounds. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Hooray, wild magic! 
<laughs> As it just yeah, hits you and there's... a bit more! <laughs> As you just worry that there could be... It could maybe start the fuse. <laughs> Wapang, you are surrounded. You are glorious, though. I am glorious. I am going to continue wailing yeah. on the... You got um, another lady to show off for. Exactly. Must like it look good. Yep, that's a hit on the white. Another good ten bludgeoning as you crack against its side. This time you're going more for five. You think if I split that, maybe you'll bleed out. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And with that, I'm going to disengage this time. <laughs> It's getting a bit too hot in here and everything, so... Um, yep. Oh, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> You've only got 30 foot of movement. <laughs> yep. I was <laughs> going to move uh, move north, but I, I'm going to say, Ooh, lady, you're playing hard to get. I'll be back for you. <laughs> As he runs away. <laughs> <laughs> you want to use your bonus action to hide or anything? What? Uh... That, that was to disengage, wasn't it? Or was it disengage? Oh, that's right, you did disengage, yeah. Wait, hang. Uh, wait, hang. <laughs> Ornagee. There's a zombie goblin. You recognize this goblin. He was a jerk. They're all jerks. They're all assholes. This is the only reason you are outside the cave right now, these dickheads. Raider. Okay, um, that didn't feel too good. So, I think you got less to complain about than Thick Cut right now. <laughs> I, I'm aware of that. Um, <laughs> let's. let's uh, and I also don't feel so good. So, let's uh, let's use Acid Splash on the zombie right beside you. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have you read Acid Splash? Uh, briefly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make the save, but you also take one point of damage. As the acid splashes back onto you. I know. But it does take the five, and you start to rot through part of it. And in fact, that is enough to... It crumbles away. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> Any movement? Um, Any bonus? Uh, gonna move uh, over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, Jablonska. This I'm feels sure familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it just? It also involves zombies. I like how you're assholes to each other, depending on how you play your classes. It's all the same. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Hmm. Going to... Let hurl another magic stone. Because why not? Yeah. Good country. That one is a hit. Solid eight bludgeoning as it just lodges in it. See? Not down and out. This one did seem a bit more frail than some of the others. And there. <laughs> she just skitter away. <laughs> but then probably question it as you see this rattling bone man start to, start to come past the wall. <laughs> and raise its big sword up over thick cut. Yeah. You're, despite See, the... Told you he was big. <laughs> Show him who's biggest. Yeah. <laughs> he brings it down That's on your right. shoulder, on your shoulder plate, but there's just this blubberous mound beneath it. It just springs away. It looks it. smiley. It's ha it's happy. It's just got showing all its teeth. Gets right better than that, buddy. <laughs> and then it's Noristra's turn as she steps out a little further. 
She can she appraises the situation, seeing the goblin shaped hole in the bush from Whipang. <laughs> Looking across to see one of her zombies in autoerotic asphyxiation with Twig. <laughs> then looks to see the armored goblin pistering her white. And so she's going to use do, 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 do. let's see here. So many options, why not? Yeah. Bornegi uh -huh. and Fit Cut. I'm gonna need a con a con save. Oh, As she no. casts blindness on you two. That's a save ah. from Fit Cut, it is not one from Bornegi. You are blinded. Ooh, See that Bornegi? Is that the weak caster? But Bonnegy? Bonnegy, I said, did you see that, Bonnegy? Are, are you there? Hello? You can hear, you're just blind. You only get to choose one effect. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I can hear you. No, where are you? Right in front of you. As you realize, he what is everything blind? in front of you. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of space here, but it's just <laughs> thick cut. Just grabbing on the folds, like, ugh. She's going to back herself up a bit, looking what very pissed. Now. <laughs> I mean, sure now, but not now. <laughs> not while Jablonska's watching. <laughs> Only while Wipang's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Twig! I gotta, I gotta show him who's alpha. <laughs> At least when the yeah, is not around. I'm gonna once again chilling touch this fellow. Uh it's a ranged one, so the ten misses actually. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay, a ranged spell disengage. attack, so it's disadvantage. I'll disengage first then. Okay. I'll, and head off, I'll let it head off let this it way. And its head snaps off like a dry twig. As opposed to you, a moist and mossy twig. Oh yeah. You are quite unpleasant to behold. <laughs> Anything else from you? You could do a bonus dash. Uh, I use bonus to disengage. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay, then Yolmik. Right. You are currently uh, turning, hidden. Turning this one on the far side. Not this one that's right beside you? I think that's within range, or with, what's the term I'm looking for? It's within the effective range of my bow, so it's uh, less no. effective, I think? No, no, that's your short range. The only thing that matters for range weapons in 5e is if they're right up to you or in the long range bracket. Bows to uh, and post disadvantage. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, I'm going for this yeah. one then. And... You have advantage. That's a hit. Yeah. So, yeah, the 80 is the range where you just do your normal attacks. Free twenty uh, oh, yeah. from eighty onwards to three twenty. That's disadvantage. I wasn't sure about that. As the arrow fuds into the head and starts to slide through the brain, it collapses. Bam. Being but a weak goblin. And I can hit you hiding in my bush, like a motherfucker. Also, you completely recognize that guy. He was a dick. He thought he was better. Like you're wrong, buddy. Thick cut. How's it going there? Well, well clearly since this white uh, couldn't hit for Jack, I'm just gonna hit the one up in badly because I know he's hard as a brick wall. He's gonna need a lot of <laughs> whittling down. That's a tough zombie. Yeah. He has survived longer than you'd think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he took a, a lance shot. And an axe. Against him. Yeah. Because those clearly hit, I, they didn't miss. Yeah, again. That's a hit. Yeah. <laughs> buddy. But he's still up. You really getting, suck at this. You're ready out of steam, buddy. This one's going to walk around here. These two are going to shuffle for what they think is another zone. Is another zombie nearby, so we go towards Twig. That's it for this. Uh, no, actually, for was one more. I forgot to reveal him. 
I forgot about the alley. There we go. He's been sitting there for several rounds. <laughs> but he cannot get... kind of relaxing. Yep. Just chilling. Oh, also, two attacks on Thick Cut. Yeah, tags on normal. Zombie swipe as they both start to try and bludgeon you. To no effect. Now that you've got the shield up, which is just your big belly plate with a handle. Um, the one that uh, approached Twig is taking... Uh, needs a DC set. Reaches out that far? Okay. In feet. Yeah, he doesn't care. I thought this was an ability you had to activate. Uh, it's on reaction. Okay. Bornegi, you're guys, blind. So what does that mean uh, exactly? Did you miss my turn? Did I? I think you yeah, did. Yeah, I did. Go ahead, with Pang. Yeah, you did. Well, Pang is going to get back up to here and beat on Bony Boy. That's a hit. For a good solid 11, and it slowly starts to crumble and fall away to dust. See, what I tell you, he's a piece of cake. Give me a deck save, Thick Cut. <laughs> hey! You manage to step aside as the sword falls towards you. <laughs> Just landing a slight inch away from Bornegi, who has not seen any of this. <laughs> I'm just kind of stumbling around, like... Belma, my glasses and shit just you hear a loud clang. <laughs> you don't know what I, it's from. Yeah. I call it this, by the way, unless Yimmick does. That's the thing. You hear, here. It... Use it while we're here. you hear a lot of clangs. You hear the bell getting rung by the quarterstaff, the disintegrating skeleton's armor rattling, and then the sudden shift of thick cut before finishing with the sword. Alright, you gonna do your kick? Yep, I'm gonna do that into the other Zombie that's near. You recognize this guy? He used to hang out. <laughs> he owed me money. He wasn't a good wingman either. But he stays on the ground as you just batter. You, you pop his leg backwards, but he still stands there a little unsteady. Now it is the turn of Bornegi. You're blind. So, what does that mean? That means you can't cast spells that require you to see a target. You can, you're down to touch. Okay. And it's disadvantage. All right. Um. Well, in in, in my blindness, I'm kind of gonna, gonna stop. Although over you could here. use your tides of chaos power to make your touch spell at a normal roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he wants me that he keeps reminding me I have it. Um, well, I'm just reminding you of it because you've never been a sorcerer before. Yeah, um, but I don't think I have anything I want to use in this situation. But I do stumble over, and I grip my staff, and I attempt to whack at what I think. Roll a d2. Is, is it? Yeah, that's what I figured. You're you're attacking you're attacking Jablonska. <laughs> Go for it. Lock. <laughs> Six does not hit, luckily. <laughs> as Jablonska, you look as Bornegi st stumbling around, raising the stick above her head. But then, as she takes a moment to pivot, she just starts bringing it down towards you. <laughs> did, did I get him? No, you almost got me. Ah, it still counts. <laughs> Give me a con save. Me? No. Um, oh, I think you mean oh yeah. right, right. So it's, it's the end of your turn to see if you can stop being blind. There you go. Your vision returns. You just see a rather cross Jablonska. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I understand why. Seems to be I again. was fighting the, the, the zombies. <laughs> okay, well. This one is going to take my last magic stone. Or it's not. It's not, and it just sort of it sails through one ear and out the other, and then just misses the other zombie behind it. Mm. Incredibly enough, also through the ears. <laughs> Still a good shot. <laughs> then I'm gonna pick up three more, and bravely run away away. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be my turn. 
we're allowed to do that in this game, I feel. Mm. Hey, relocation well, is important. We're shitty goblins. We're, we're supposed exactly. to run away. We're allowed to be shitty in this game. Let's see here. What's her next move? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> nah, I'm shitting you with you. <laughs> no, but she is going to use on Zapang. Just going to see if you're in the choking. Does a 15 hit? 16. No, no it's actually lower than that. It's a 13, so yeah, that misses. As she just gets more exasperated, starts to speak a lot in very sharp, elvish words, and starts to walk up north. Lady, don't be that way. Please come back. <laughs> I just, can change. She's just throwing her hands down. She stomps away <laughs> in these shitty, rotten rags she's wearing from the goblins. She's had to put four or five shirts together just to make it top. Stella! Twig! You're a caster who's having a way better day than Noristra. Why do I mention with Weeping you always see like the title music from Johnny Bravo in the background? <laughs> Leave a monkey with me, come on! <laughs> no, no, I mean we're eating it. That doesn't hit. Nah, it doesn't hit anything. You do have your reaction back if you just want to use it. I think... Uh... Is, it's when something moves into range okay. or starts its turn within range, so... Alrighty. Yeah. Yulmik. Annoyingly, Circle Spore is only in Ravnica. Dropping an arrow into that one. Uh, there's a bit of an AC increase because there's two other people in the way. Uh, so you do use that roll. Yeah. All right. But you know, Walker it's still a here. it's still a fair shot if you want to take it. You've got advantage and everything. Might as well. The odds are in your favor. Yep. Yeah. There you go. That hits. And continue being the stealthiest bush. As you feel you're doing a great job of leading. From the rear. <laughs> quietly. The the That's once again the arrow lodges in the zombie. It's nearly toppled. This is one of those slightly tougher ones. Thick cut. Now you're against people your own size. It's time to bully them. Yeah. <laughs> this time. Well, the last time we fight, this, we dance this dance. My worthy opponents. Ha ha! Ha ha! He stays clearly standing. You're cheating! <laughs> you cut off a fucking arm and it's still just there. Yolanska, you see this? Jablonska, you see this? He's cheating. Clearly cheating. Aim for the head. That one they can't move without. All right. Because then they can't think. So You've got your second win. Got your action surge. Does the arm still move? I think it still moves. <laughs> I, I miss those words. Uh... Second yeah, fuck it. I've got an action surge. Try to make it out. Take him out. Yeah. You get it back in a short rest. There's no reason not to burn it. Ah! Except for that. I mean, you fucking wasted it. <laughs> That's a complete waste of an action surge, man. Why'd you even do that? You can still second window if you need a little HP increase. Uh, or are you feeling good? Not critical. It's not critical at the moment. Okay, let's see if it will get critical. See on Dead's turn. Will. They're both going to take a swipe at you because you are full of nutrition. <laughs> that miss. That miss. And they both clang. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. These ones are going this way. And Twig fucking booked it. <laughs> <laughs> As goblins have been known to do. These two will be at Zapang. Or Wapang. Why do you... Ooh. Finally, he's getting punched. As you get too distracted by Naristra shimmying her way off of those swaying elf hips, <laughs> you take two right in the side of the face. Nice. I'll be now turned. <laughs> oh, nice. 
But you don't give up. You say, come back late. We can work it out. <laughs> but pang. Bust bone. Well, I'm going to at least try and fight back a bit. Although from how he's doing it, I think I should change it to must bone. Twelve's a hit. None of the zombies have over twelve AC. On which one? That's Atta what boy. I've been working on, so I will continue to. Fuck. <laughs> well, bang! Those be run. He's running now. Um, <laughs> how long does that the cold affect me for? Oh, it's gone. It was only one round. You will live to fight another day, my friend. It's only a cantrip. <laughs> you should check to make sure that Narista is not looking back. She's not. She's never looking back. And she just fucking book it. <laughs> you check yourself in a reflection of a puddle. Okay, you're still pretty. I can work with this. Yep. You can see... Amazing thick scars. <laughs> you can see again, Bornegy. I can see. And then you see that there's four fucking zombies. That is horrible. <laughs> At least Fick cuts there, but where's Wupang? Is he one of the zombies now? Is that is that you, buddy? <laughs> um, Doesn't have enough teeth to be Wupang. I, I hope not. You still do have my magic stone as well. Yeah, yeah. you also have spells. Gonna remind you that to your caster, you have spells in case you want to take that back. Yeah, I do want to take that back. Um, <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I gave Bornic useless spells, but there's one or two that yeah, are still you good. Yeah, kind of did actually, but I will take that back. How does the magic rock work? Um, you basically will roll my stats for throwing, so it'd be a plus five modifier and one d six plus three bludgeoning damage. Or Pio can just click it. Yeah, all right, okay, I can just click that. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Yeah, the thing is, yeah, I have spells, but, like, what am I going to do with false life or mage armor right now? I mean, I guess I can help that, but... What are you going to do with mage armor when you're getting beaten up by zombies? Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, yeah, what roll, do you want to do? Roll the rock. Uh, first, okay. first of all, you, you should disengage or else it'll be a disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disengage. Yep. If you back away. Alright. That takes uh, 10 feet of movement. There you go. Who are you pinging? Uh, the one that I was closest to. I kind of just leapt back and threw the rock while I was in the air. Fuck. They're not going down. This is a repeat of the first time you guys met zombies. <laughs> Son of a... That's that's my turn. <laughs> Jablonska. Alright. I hand Born again another magic rock. I accept the magic rock. Hopefully this one works better. This one looks a little bit like a fish. I might I keep this one. I slink back into the bush. Because <laughs> I'm a fucking goblin. Yep. Let's see, and... I give a little bit of health to uh, Zipang. Oh, I hate it. Very little being the emphasis. It's here. better than having one. <laughs> <laughs> the zombies can at least roll below that. I throw my magic rock at this one. Okay. I mean, the awful word is you throw it at him. And then in my bonus, I am not stealthy. <laughs> It's just uh, everything bad having that turn. All free actions. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You didn't have bonus action anyway. Yeah, you yes, used... I did. Yeah, she did. No, she healing didn't because healing word. Oh, well, then again, she can just oh, use her yeah. action to hide. No, no, I used magic rock. Yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't matter either way. Naristra continues to walk away while cursing an elven. Because nothing's gone her fucking way since her bodak pit was destroyed. She got back to her room, everyone had fucking stolen everything. <laughs> what kind of creeps steal a necromancer's knickers? They stole everything, oh, they wow. slept in her bed. Yeah, slept in her bed. 
And she got back and the place blew up. She doesn't even know that a goblin is using her wand. <laughs> Twig! Okay, Twig is going to... Uh, that one there looks to be a problem. I'm going to put a chilling pack. On which one? Left one? Nice. Uh, that one there. That one, okay. Yeah, it's a clear hit. There you go, now it topples. As once again, it's just crack. They've got very brittle necks, you're finding out. Interesting. See, that's how you do it. Use the magic. Mass cheating. <laughs> Any movement? I'm just going to take... Um... He's going to hide behind hide the spellcaster. Spell to be fair, you are resistant to damage. You have technically twice the HP you currently look at. That, that, that is true. That is true. Yeah, I'm going to move there. Okay. Yulmik. They're doing well without being commanded. This isn't right at all. But you can still take credit for this, I'm sure. I'm a goblin. I'm doing exactly how I should be. I'm sitting in the back, watching them do shit properly. There you go. Getting that one. One right in front of me. Alright, you are hiding. I'll be right back. Still hits anyway. Don't. Fuck, I'm knocking out a park of these undead. Where, why aren't I getting these on the attack rolls? As once again, you lodge an arrow in this one and it stays up on its feet. They're making a real theme of that, of just staying up. Shift over two steps and continue being the best goblin leader. Fuck yeah. Thick cut. Why are we all getting away from behind you? This isn't right. We have them on the run, peep. We have them on the run, couples. Don't fall back now. You. We're not done yet. <laughs> you keep trying, but yeah, you? you're not done. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Disengage movement. Hide. You haven't seen the last of me. Disengage. <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna throw an axe right between those eyes. This is a trap. I'm learning into a trap. You're no, uh... Borneke. Oh, my God. Borneke. Get ready. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a trap. <laughs> well, someone was trapped. That only affects enemies, yeah? Yeah, who I choose, basically. Okay, good. He ignores it, though. So! <sighs> two against <laughs> Vornagy. <laughs> One against Fick Cut. And they all swing and a miss. Yep. Because I apparently used up all those good rolls in Undead Fortitude. Them. I confused them with my darting moves. <laughs> Whipang! As you race around the place, a little stream of dust behind you. Yep. All the leaders are watching Guys, you. Guys, I want to get it. Oh shit, there's people. <laughs> a resounding hit. See, these ones haven't even been hurt yet, so yeah, that's still up. <laughs> want to bring the foot in? Yeah. You could also you could also burn a key and use flurry of blows for two unarmed attacks. No, I think I'll keep to what I'm doing at the moment. There's only four enemies left, and you get your key back in a short rest. I'm saying you don't need to save those potions for after the final boss. That's a hit on that one. Try robotic crap. No, anyway, that's a hit on that one. Six bludgeoning is one of the frailer ones. And it does indeed as you just go full on, you know, just put pointing the knuckles forth pff, right into the skull. 
you give a little shake of the hand, and then you keep shaking to try and get the shit off, but it falls down dead. Yes, see, ladies, I can do the job. <laughs> yes. Yes, ladies, he has shown he is an expert fister. <laughs> Anything else? No, that's pretty much me. Good. Bornegi. This, uh, why if it cut why? <laughs> Use the magic, you goof. Use it. Uh. Okay. You want me to use it? Fine. Um. Can I get a Can I get a template? There's only two in front of you. What are you using? Yeah, I was gonna use shatter and kind of put it out there so that it like hits these two guys, but we're clear. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Also, I will. Oh, good. They're failing that, but uh, give me a D100 as well. Ah, this is going, boys. <laughs> yeah, you can see a lot of steam coming off of Bornegi. Let me. And then D100. Yep. Yep. That's only light snicker this time. A horse appears nearby. Indeed. <laughs> Good work, boys. It looks a little weird, in that you can see it's stitched together. It looks more like a cuddly toy than a horse, but it's moving and nipping at the ground like a real horse. I I did it. We can bring that back. Bornegi is saving the tribe. Also, Yay! my steed. <laughs> but it's my horse. Not anymore. One of them gets just fucking blown apart in the constituent pieces by the shatter. Also, of course, all your big eared goblins. Oh boy, that hurt. That was a loud cube of fucking noise. <laughs> Anything else from you, Bornegi? You did well. Um, I'm going to disengage and move up to my horse. <laughs> the my horse, horse barely even looks at you. You notice Ben has got buttons for eyes. <laughs> does it does it look kind of cute with the button eyes though? It depends on yeah. your taste. Some people find that creepy, especially anyone who's watched Coraline. <laughs> and that's that's my. Turn. But yeah, it looks like a big stuffed toy. Yay! Right? Slipping out of hiding bush? Throwing magic stone? <laughs> can can you guess what the next move is gonna be? <laughs> That's a hit. And zombie fall fall down. Zombie fall down, go boom. If you guessed hide go back in the bush and hide, you were correct. <laughs> As Wapang continues to bleed. <laughs> Following the leader's example. Well done. Aristra well, is just light, fucking out of here. Light. She's done. She's pissed off. There's a few <laughs> curses about there's a few curses in common as well. Twig. Okay. Um, the great thing is they're laughing, but they like don't realize the villain got away again. <laughs> well, we don't know that. <laughs> Yeah. We don't care. We don't care. Yeah. She didn't yeah. even look like she had anything on her. She didn't. She had nothing on her. She was completely yeah. robbed. She was just wearing goblin rags. I already have those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, once again, I'm going to cast Chilling Touch on the one that didn't move last round. No why, but never mind. Oh, must have forgot about him. Oh, yeah, and also considering Yemig also did tell us not to uh, get involved with the uh, people who live in city. That definitely looked like a city dweller. Too tall. <laughs> he also told us to all come back. Well, almost all of you come back. <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? It's still standing. But you know what, since you did mention it, yeah, I should probably have that swipe at you. It's only fair. Ow. Was that a hit? Good. 
little <laughs> bastard. Take your two bludgeoning. Eat it. I hope you choke on it. And you already use your reaction that round. Yeah. I'm down to 28 HP. This is terrible. <laughs> Yelmic. Oh, no. Wait, you have 28? Yeah. <laughs> D8 and a big con mod. Uh, fuck me. Uh, two, my con is two. Um, but I rolled really well on my hit points, so I have a max of 30. How fucking bad cards did you roll in mine? I have a plus four in constitution. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Yolmix. He's got 17. But the wow, point is, they did... My hit points were bad. But let's see. Pang's got only um, 16. Yeah. Yeah, I've got 20. 16. Wait, as a sorcerer, how do I have more HP than people? Max HP than people? Jesus Christ. Because the dice, man, because there's... it was rolled. Yeah, it was all it's rolled. A... Yeah. I even gave Makes Yolmik sense. a reroll of a one. Into a two. Into a two. He doubled his HP that day. <laughs> I was like, I have 17 hit points. <laughs> and I use a D4. D6. Oh, it's a D6? Okay. Yeah. D4 was the old hit dice, actually. That, that's right, yeah. Fit cut. Yolmik didn't do a hell of a lot there. <laughs> he yelled encouragement. But his arrow is Yolmik. You get up on the steed? Uh, no, I'm gonna move over to here and then I'm gonna throw one of my axes at that zombie. There's a wall. Oh, oh actually, no, there's not. Okay, go on. <laughs> it's because the health bar was blocking it. Hmm. <laughs> it, it was such a weak roll. Ro it was such a weak throw. It didn't even lodge in the wall. It didn't even make sparks. It was lame. That was just a warning uh, throw. <laughs> Time for the last zombie. Takes the four. Eleven is a misfo. Whipang. Hey, hey, what a way to finish it. Yep. And it does not get an undead fortitude roll to a critical hit as you just whack off the zombie's head like a baseball swing. For the way, right, by the way, I was hit, heading the skull north. <laughs> you managed to get some good air in it, but you're pretty sure it didn't go too far. It plunked about here. It's out of here. It's, an, it's a goblin skull. It's not all that aerodynamic. It's still got the flesh on it, too. You know, a lot of drag factor. A lot of giblets. I think that goes over and picks up his lance. Takes a little bit of a pull. Yeah. And picks if... up his axe <laughs> from the ground. <laughs> You, you look at your lance, it might have a very slight bend, depending on what way you've got it turned. Yolvik walks over and starts clicking delicious, delicious teeth. The battle is over. Naristra is kind of visible in the distance, still walking away. Now and again, you see her throwing her arms up in the air and then just back down at her sides, limp. Man, what a loser. We got teeth and a horse. Yeah, and immediately clamber up on the horse. This is the way. Give me a deck save. But it's but it's my horse. That's my horse. I need a deck save from Fit Cut. Fit Cut, you fucking plant into the ground as you realize it's a cuddly <laughs> toy. It doesn't have the full spinal and skeleton arrangement to be a mount. I not I, if I ever do a save and it happens to happen to to do with the mounting, I get an advantage. So. <laughs> okay, so you manage to land, but you realize, oh shit, this thing is a stuffed toy. It can just carry mm -hmm. itself. Come on, go! Because <laughs> it's just flattened underneath him. <laughs> I start crying. He flattened my toy. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the face Watch starting me. to get a little fat now because some of the stuffing is getting pushed forward. Buddy, you uh... suck. This is the worst. Twig is going to look around for anything of interest. 
I mean, there's a few... Well, whenever you eventually get to it, in, in the central hut, there is a few scrawlings and etchings. There is some really badly made charcoal that's been used to make some, some sigils. And you can see lined along the wall are a few little archaic scrawlings. Not in common or goblin, annoyingly. And there's also a few really shitty bows. Most of the strings have rotted through. And a couple of daggers and some short swords. Or Jack scimitars, pot, actually. <laughs> yep, we take all those. It sounds like loot for the clan. And as the mightiest warrior, I take the skeleton. I take this sword from the big guy. It is a full, it's... intact great sword. A little chipped, a little scuffed, a little rusted, but fuck it, it's a great sword. Yeah. Wait, wait. So we can give it to Yannick later. Sure. <laughs> you managed to fancy up the hand a little bit. Yolmix is just walking around carrying a big bag full of teeth and one giant dragon tooth. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the leader goes with the spoils. <laughs> teeth. So many spoils. Emphasis on spoil. So you've got a couple of chipped and rusted scimitars, a few frames of bows that can probably snap after her second arrow, <laughs> a great sword, and some teeth. Fuck yeah, that's a haul. And a toy horse. And a toy horse. <laughs> that's somewhat destroyed now. Thanks. No, no, it's fine. Once it gets up, it's still got a fattened face and the midsection is a little thinner. I can mend it. It's still standing. I give the horse a hug. Where you I hug it, you can feel the stuffing start to shift a little bit. But it's still reassuring. I mend the horse. To mend it, you don't use your spell. You just gotta grab its face and squeeze a bit. <laughs> Yay! It's just redistribution, that's all. It no longer looks like it's been stung by bees. <laughs> and you're in the clearing. You just realized, you guys, you dealt with traitors. Yemek's gonna love this. Hook is also going to look around for edible mushrooms. At least we mushrooms he considers it. edible. Give me a survival roll. Traders who stood up again. Those adventurers didn't do shit. Yeah. I always have to clean up after them. You find four mushrooms, but they're all inside the dead goblins. They're speckled with white and yellow dots. Nice. You're not entirely right, familiar with these ones. Feet. Yes. Uh, so I don't know what these mushrooms are. Not offhand. You haven't really see come across ones like this before. You know, one's close, okay. one's a bit like... They're, one's edible, and one turns your liver into water, so... 50-50, it might be good. You're a goblin, oh, correct. Right. That was the sound of him eating the mushroom. Yeah, got some texture. I'm gonna take one, uh, take two with me. Just uh, so I'll investigate them further later. Okay, where are you guys off to next then? Northwards is up into the hills. Eastwards would take you closer to well, wherever Narista is heading to. The old crypt and Valonkia. You know that town's there. To the south is across is through a little bit of forest area, a little bit of hill. Across the main road and into the forest and the wetlands. Let's consult with Spin the Goblin. <laughs> Swig, come over here. Yes. <laughs> and they fuse. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a D4, Twig. Hey. I just like how he's thinking he's throwing a stick in the air. <laughs> I shunted it so you wouldn't just keep on going east in case of repeat rolls, so you... Also, why'd you roll 2d4? Ah, uh, because I hit the wrong thing. You guys are going north. Hooray! Up into the yeah, rolling hills. Away. To the hills! Even... Shall, we, shall we leave the teeth here and pick them up on the way back? No, the only chasm. And also he spends a minute or two recovering some arrows from zombies. Hey, get path back. 
Yep, it should be about three. You fired the bow more than that. Kind of weird. It's just half in general, not half but hit. No, I used seven. Then I lost one permanently, and half of six is three. Yep. And off you guys go. In the rolling hills. Into, well, they look like covered stone entrances. Hmm? Any chance of a short rest? It's up to you guys. Let's sit down for a little while. Take a nap, boys, you earned it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at all these teeth. Shiny. Yeah, you can roll as many hit dice as you want. Well, as many as you've got. And any abilities you get back, you kick back on a short rest. Is an exit surge to recovery? Yep. Everything yeah. on a fighter is short rest. Well, basic fighters. Okay. I'm not nice. I'll go to the bath. <laughs> I mean, really, why'd you make a goblin rope the leader then expect you to do something other than hide in a bush? It's the most goblin thing I could do. I expect you to move around more yeah. is all. No. Why should he? No one, came, no one came close to his bush. Exactly. I shifted left and right to gain better lines of sight. Tackle the bush be an action. Yeah, but if you dodged around like Twig, you would be able to get some shots on the white. I took several shots of the white. No man. It was terrible. So I shot zombies. Uh, let's see, you don't have to be back as well in a second. So, short break. Welcome back. Thank you. The coffee is also close to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I thought no, that was a little bit quiet. Five hundred milliliter white beer. Also, <laughs> I'm glad that they did not find a fence to spin the goblin. <laughs> it is the best way. I also love that we're chasing after the necromancer. Maybe us goblin fuck-ups will do something that the main party hasn't done yet. Actually defeat a villain. Actually, I think we're walking away from the... We are walking away from the necromancer. See, we went east, we're going north. Ah, yeah. yeah. We can change our mind. That, 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 that's something we could do. Nope. The goblin has spoken when he landed. Yeah, uh, we wouldn't change our mind. <laughs> the fates have spoken. You only the second in command of the entire tribe agrees with the assessment of the great and mighty Twig Toss. Do not argue with his wisdom. <laughs> and back in play. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Everyone else here? Yep. I think nope. so. Yeah? Sound off if you're not here. Don't be shy. I'm not here. Watch, webgun. Yep. Yeah, we're here. I don't know. I only need one of you to answer. <laughs> so we'll get back in action here. Indeed, you all put your feet up, and during the middle of a rest... There is that familiar sound that's been coming out for the last few weeks. 
but horrendous bestial roar. Vast. Shuddering, and this time you're not hearing it with the safe muffling of a cave lair. You are out in the open as this reverberates through the air. First one that sounds like a cat, but very deep and large. And then a roar that you've been told repeatedly is from a dragon. Usually by someone panicking and saying it a hell of a lot very quickly. <laughs> On the bright side, it doesn't sound like it's right beside you. What are you saying, Logan? Is this coming from the north? It's coming from... It's coming from the east. Oh, hmm. oh the old team at least. Yeah. Yep. Just imagine it. Hopefully that. two problems may cancel one of them out. <laughs> north is sounding better and better every time. Yes, but we must save the lady. <laughs> so I can get it all on. Why? Lady. Why? She's dinosaur. She's way too skinny. She probably doesn't even know how to cook. She didn't have Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> and did Yolnik say bring back a woman? As you think about Yolmik and the various women that work in his throne room, he probably would have approved. He's way too tall. Mm. Oh well, the fates have spoken. We go north. Yes. Yes, yeah, luckily you guys managed to travel past most of the horribly sharp mountainous range, and you're just in the hills. It's a lot of work for short legs, but you guys are, are wiry little fuckers. Except for Thick Cut, who is just momentum. It is just, it is just like a... Waterfall of sweat rolling off the fat rolls. <laughs> the horse seems to be doing pretty well. Very light in its hoofs. Doesn't doesn't make a whole lot of sound either. It's just grass being bent, mushed, not really crushed. You know you're not actually moving on the map. We're in the world at the moment. Yeah, He's... but you know. Well, I mean, if you want to get yourselves into a marching order. Who's keeping look at that sort of thing? Horse. Am I light enough to ride the horse? As you try to get oh, put on the horse, it's it's on bended knees. It would be walking in a crouch. Okay, never mind. It just doesn't really support late weight being a living stuffed toy. You sure hope it doesn't have to eat. That would be awkward. What, what would a stuffed horse eat? <laughs> Souls. Everyone knows that. And it's just rolling greenery. It's just a few scattered trees bare of leaves. It's rolling fields, and it's kind of boring, and you realize there's no shiny shit here. But, you know, there's a few bits and pieces that are starting to look maybe promising. Some of the hills have large stones embedded in them. Kind of smooth. There's also big footprints. Big, human-looking footprints, but way bigger. Like, four of you could stand inside one of them. Don't You're... carefully examines the direction these like footprints are heading, and then goes, nope, and turns the opposite direction. <laughs> you also start to see very closely nipped and cropped grass. Dung piles. A few twigs oh. and bushes have some scraps of wool on them. Sheepy? Sheepy. I see, I see like his mouth. And as you get up onto one of the hills, you can see down as the sun slowly starts to get towards setting. It's just a bit orangey. You see into a small defile in the ground. So let's just grab you fuckers. Stop squirming, damn it. <laughs> As we scroll upwards, you guys are not here. You are on a hill far to the south. Oh. But you can see a huge humanoid figure sitting on the ground, sleeping. At least you think it is. And a small 
herd of sheep just bubbling around. Mm. Tasty, tasty sheep. The one with the trophy How much do is the ram. about the um, sheep incident with the sheep spell? <laughs> I mean, you guys weren't present. You just remember Yemek shouting about sheep. Maybe he likes them. At right. the least, you're thinking winter's coming. That would be warm. That would be meat. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Plus, these dumb, these dumb things only eat grass. You got lots of grass. But we yes. can eat sheepy. And they're harmless, right? They are. Yeah, sheep they are. are. What could Easy. go wrong? Well, it's warm. We could ride them back. Mm -hmm. mm. These hands or something. I mean, usually. <laughs> He's definitely been assisted by a lot of things. And me, that's only that's only one of the big guys. The six of us. <laughs> 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 yes, please Wait. keep that mentality. Go for it. <laughs> he can only chase one of us at a time. Wait, wait. If I make him blind, will he still think he's asleep? <laughs> if you make him blind, will he... <laughs> It's an interesting question. I think if he's still asleep, he won't notice he's blind. He only prefers this idea and thinks the best idea ever. I love how Botch is probably just looking at that natural 20 thinking, please, why not? Why weren't you in the first <laughs> slot? <laughs> well, about the wisdom thing about trying to think whether or not um, it would be six versus one would be a fair fight. It's sounding well, pretty damn fair. I'm looking at the body weight and thinking, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, we might have it. You guys can totally can take, take him. Take him. <laughs> Yeah. He's asleep right now. I mean, you all get him at once. What? Well, how could he survive that? I also pointed out he could only chase one of us at a time. Wait, if he is asleep and we all time our attacks at once, they all auto crit. <laughs> no. I have a different idea. Why don't I cast silence on them, and then we steal all the. Sh He'll be in a zone of silence, which means he can't oh. hear anything from what we're doing. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. That's, that, that's that weird monk thing you do. Oh, yeah. The cone of silence. That's a good plan. How long does it last? Ten minutes. That's more than enough. That's like an hour. <laughs> that's like an hour, right? Yeah, that's like an hour. <laughs> an hour is like a day, right? We got a horse. We can get in faster. Can we, we, can we cover the tracks after we leave? He may follow. That's fine. We're small, he's big. He won't notice how small. Okay, okay. We got this, we got this. Sir, sir. Right, in you go. <laughs> right. So I'm going to cast... Silence! You guys are basically... Uh, hang on, though. You're all the way, you know, you're many leagues back here. Oh, okay. In this direction. Well, still, it's 120 feet. Yeah, but we've also had only 10 minutes. We still have to reach there. And he's got to sneak up in the first place. That's 120 feet. Yeah. All right. It's been cast. Okay, go, Luckily, go, go, go. his snoring is gone. 
You are racing go, through go. as time begins to tick. You don't need to stealth. You can't hear us. Yes, we do. He might see us. He's asleep. He's asleep. He might wake the sheep up will see still us. see us. Come on, think like a goblin. He'll see us. Exactly. Caution. Care. Sheep thievery. Double dash! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Created weapon. Okay, yeah, it's, yep. It doesn't matter if you walk through because it's the silence. I see the. I'm going to try and mount the sheep. <laughs> the same here, and I have an yep, advantage. Yes, the guy who lives. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, I roll get animal handling. I sheep. I got the price one. It'll be animal handling for you guys. Twig, I'm you managed to. Horrible, surely. Yep. Oh, Jablonska. That one was already pissed off. Do so you guys start charging in? <laughs> <laughs> and you get bashed in the chest yeah. for six. As the ram is not taking your shit right now. For the rest of you, let's see here. Twig, oh, you managed to calm yours down so he's not running away. And I get advantage. Um, no, wait, no, no, I'm here. So, never mind. I'm going to try and seduce. <laughs> <laughs> One thing at a time. Thick cut, yours does calm down a bit. Although, you know, you're still sweating bullets and looking a little unsettling, but... It's, it's not running away from you like the rest of them are, as they try... As they just sort of wedge themselves up against the wall, looking at you all panicked. I've got to tie a rope around the, the neck of mine. Yulmik! It tries to bite you. <laughs> Alright. Whipang. <sighs> Go ahead. Ladies and fluffy ones, come to me and we'll joy uh, have a wonderful night together. Join me with the finest beasts of grass and a beautiful brook. You make your big gestures. You say your. You try to level your voice carefully. They don't understand English. Or comma in this case. It's the gestures as well. Yeah, the gestures are big, sweeping gestures. So that's animal handling at disadvantage because you're seeming very aggressive. <laughs> what not persuasion with charisma? Sure, with disadvantage. <laughs> They're sheep. There we go. <laughs> this one doesn't take a liking to that. You're making up his ladies. Perfect. Concentration save. <laughs> they are all also bleeding very loudly. Uh, let's see. Does it actually use a concentration? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. So what's that? Constitution? Yep, it's a con save. You keep hold of the spell. And this thing is pissed off and bleeding at you loudly. Bornegui, what are you doing? Uh, well... I was just hiding in a bush because I didn't want to get hurt and I didn't want to alert this thing. Um, I guess if they're all roping sheep. They haven't really brought out the ropes yet, although Whipang probably would at some point. I have brought... I said I've tied mine with a rope. Well, that's that was just to get it calm. If you want to tie it, I'm going to need another roll. That's to stop it running away from you. What is the uh not oh, fuck. What is this guy? He, he just he just sleeping, right? Nothing He's sleeping, but you did notice he had only one eye. He was vast and with a huge club. Although one side of him was also really badly burned. I I re I relate. Um I'm going to start leading my um sheep away. I I'm going to ignore the sheep and uh is there anything interesting, shiny, perhaps? 
you do notice there's quite a lot of shiny shit around the neck of the Cyclops. Oh no! It's wearing a necklace covered in mashed together coins, silverware. There's a few weird little amulets and shit. There's also this a couple of big shields lodged in there, all sort of just hammered in together. There's also a very big pouch on his belt. Now if you'll let me do this. Start lead leading my sheep quicker. And I don't know what this would be. You know, you're a druid. You probably could have used a spell. Uh, none of the ones I've got to work on that. I don't think. I'm gonna try and uh, and put a rope on my sheep again. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Come on, did, did that still. work? <laughs> Get bit for that. Oh, it doesn't go through the armor. Nope, but it tries. I didn't know what to use for this. But... No, no, sleight of hand is the right one. It's just, you know, okay, don't do all your actions together. Give someone else a chance. Okay. As I speak, No, no, not to you. I'm speaking to everyone else who's trying to do shit while you're doing this. Well, I'm going to try... Is the one you're not that... doing anything yet. I've got to read out what his sleight of hand did. Come on. Let his sleight of hand go yeah. through. Yeah. So, yeah, you are expert with it. You... Bring up your staff. The problem is he's really tall, really, really tall, but you, you know, you manage to catch your staff underneath the necklace. You're thinking, there's no way I can lift this. This is a lot of loot. So you start to slowly turn it, slide it around as you're looking for the latch or some sort of knot or something. Then you realize, what the fuck am I doing? As you look down at the pouch and you can see that there's gold glimmering underneath it. So you give up on the necklace immediately. And look down into the pouch, and you find so many shinies. You find big clumps of melt-together coins that have just been squeezed in by a giant fist. It could be about 60 or 70 gold. You don't know, because it could, you don't have no idea how many are packed into the middle. Because I was like, I can't get it apart, but I, I'm taking it. Yeah. It's a big, heavy weight, of course. You also see a bunch of really cool carved bits of big bone. Like, this one looks like, well, it looks like that. That one, oh, I guess the Cyclops is lonely. They're all quite distinctive looking. I, I will take some of them, but not the one that makes the Cyclops lonely. Pretty much all of them are the same thing. Uh, uh, luckily, they're all they too small to have been in, pro in use, but it's worrying. You do also do find a few... Or they just lose? Yeah. You also yeah. find a bunch of gems that still have rock uh, attached to them. Like, they've just been sort of, like, punched and pulled free. Hard shipping. They haven't been refined or anything, but damn. You it's find... okay, I can pick that off. Yep, you find I'm a sure big... You find a big, sort of, see-through white one. That's Ooh. as big as your head. Unfortunately, as you try to pick it up, it's, uh... It weighs as, as much as your head and some more. Mm. But you also see lots of little red ones that still have stone attached to them. Okay. I'm going to take those, and... It's also weirdly a completely wrapped up shank of sh uh, sheep. It's got quite a nice little decorative bow on it. I don't know how long this will take me, but I'm going to take what I can. All the small stuff is easy. You can just start grabbing that and sticking into your pack. But the big I'm... ones you're going to need assistance for, or just, you know, one action at a time kind of thing. I'm going to take uh, one of the big ones... And when I get more movement, I'm going to try to bring it back to the horse. I'm going to load the horse. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm sure of it. All right. Now that we've done that, Botch, what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to disengage from the ram that's attacked me. Mm -hmm. I think it's ram. Yep. And... Gets me some distance from him. Okay. While well, trying to calm him down as I um, it follows. kind of backpedal. Bleeding loudly at you. I think it likes you. It doesn't like you. You can tell that from a glance. It does not like you. It, it senses another alpha male here. It's threatened. At least that's what you think. <laughs> of course.
it's still a disadvantage because it's still pissed at you. Keep running towards the cave. But it just bleats loudly in your face for now. <laughs> Alright. What's someone else doing? I'm just giving the sheep that's trying to sneak around the evil eye. It gives you one right back. And tries to bite you again. Yeah, break me, little shit. This one joins in. <laughs> <laughs> Goblins defeated by sheep. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, never mind the big guy. We're all going to be killed by the flock of sheep. These ones start to walk up to Jablonska since she's not done anything threatening yet. Okay. Gotta go here and try an animal companion the sheep. This one doesn't have as big horns. Nope. Maybe it'll be friendly. Only the trophy one does. It will not. You're not really encouraging its pulling away whenever you try to put your hand on it. But, you know, it's not running away or anything, it's just... Eh, get off me. Mm -hmm. And Twig's just continuing to lead the one sheep away. Yep. We'll get one at least, hopefully, maybe, probably not. Yeah. As it, look, as it comes out of the bush, it does see the Cyclops, and looks over at you and just seems to sort of plant its feet. I'm trying, going to try and encourage it to come along a bit further. How? Uh, just being kind and gentle. You're a goblin. Hey, it doesn't know that. You could offer it a mushroom. Do it. Do it. <laughs> okay, I offer it one of the mushrooms I, I know is good. Yeah, there you go. See, that helps. It starts to nibble. It's already following you as you try to pull your hand away. Excellent. <laughs> they swarm! Uh, Jablonska, they are just <laughs> biting at anything that's on you. Any sort of errant hair or cloth. They're just gnawing at you and sort of tugging you about. <laughs> Yolmik, both these sheep are giving you back a wall-eyed, <laughs> dull stare. On the plus side, I have their attention, so I lead them over to the friendly sheep. Maybe they'll get distracted by mushrooms, I don't know. They just keep watching you as you walk away. Ah, come on, you little bastards! Before going back to cropping. <laughs> Fit cut, what were you doing? Yeah, come on, stand still so I can put the rope on you. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Just bleats very loudly in your face and tries to get another nip. Stop that. <laughs> you can feel it trying to put pressure in your gloves. It's just not getting through. Starts to walk away from you. No, no, no. Damn it. This one starts to pull on the back of your shirt. All right, you, you come with me. All right, thick cut, roll for it. Well, what are you doing? You just trying to throw a rope on it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are very aggressive sheep. <laughs> you guys are rolling like shit. I love it. <laughs> Wait, we're goblins. Wait. I'm using my brain. <laughs> Oh no. About four minutes have passed by now. <laughs> Twig, oh, no, no, wait, Twig, you've gotten your sheep out of there. You have a sheep. Excellent. I've done my bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking back at the rest and going, come on, come on, hurry up. Same way well, you guys were messing with sheep, I got shiny. Yeah, you could get two more pieces. But that necklace looks like it has all of the really good stuff. Take they, you can always call out. someone to help you. No, because then they might take it. Well, we're bringing it back to Yemek after all. <laughs> Going back in. <laughs> that necklace. All right, Jablonska, what's the use of your brain right now? Hmm. 
I'm current rules looking up on this, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, then, let's get back to sleight of hand. Luckily, you're in the bubble of silence, so you can't really cause anything like that. But, you know, you are on the injured side. You're thinking, probably sensitive, gotta be careful with your steps. Ah, so it does work. And you see this huge, body, muscled creature just rise and fall with each breath. It is immense. It actually feels like it's hard to breathe whenever you're near it when it breathes in. It just sucks up so much air. No. You start looting through, so you take another one of... You take the big white one, stuff it in the pack. You're starting to feel a bit weighed down now. As you start sifting through, there's a few more layers in the big bag, and you think there might be another pouch on the other side. People like having equal pockets. Okay. But it seems like you plucked everything here except the big yeah. shank, uh, the big shank of uh, lamb. Okay. Well, before I do that, or do anything else, I'm gonna disengage and just start a shiny, you know, start a shiny pile because I can't care. Yeah, I I don't want to weigh myself down. Meanwhile, there's a little distress from your horse, although it's throwing its head around, it can't actually make noise. <laughs> but you do notice that the sheep is starting to eat one of its legs. I I kind of I try to be quiet about it, but I'm kind of poking the sheep with my stick. Like, <laughs> Roll me a d100. <laughs> well, can't give you the same effect twice. That would make it boring. Okay, yeah, that would have been teeth, wouldn't it? No, that was actually just um, being resistant again. Another horse? <laughs> you are frightened by the nearest creature until the end of your next turn. Oh my god! So I'm scared of the sheep. Yep, you just scream involuntarily. Luckily, the Cyclops still in the bubble of silence. Ah, it's gonna eat me! <laughs> All right, back to Jablonska. Okay, now you... <laughs> I I got it this time. I cast guidance on myself. <laughs> As you're being tugged in various directions by the sheep. Aha! <laughs> one of the sheep is now on my side. <laughs> you got the one right below you. This one's sort of interested by how you're wiggling your fingers around and jangling shit at it. I have charmed the sheep. Now I have four more. <laughs> and they're playing rough, so let's see here. I think two of them managed to bite through. Just one. Just the one? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I have 17 AC. Yep, as one just bites a little too hard when it's trying to tug on yeah. your bracelets. It's time to go! <laughs> Has Yolmik just given up on the sheep? Yep. Yolmik has no animal handling and does not like animals. That's Most of you guys don't have animal handling, if you noticed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whippet is going to, going to Whippang is going to stare down the ram and try and insert, uh, insert. <laughs> Okay. It's an intimidate roll. <laughs> <laughs> you are now intimidated by the sheep. It is definitely the alpha. <laughs> right, I'm going to disengage and start hoofing it out of there. Seeing as you've I seen this I look think. before when you were messing over people's women. It's going to charge you <laughs> as you try to get away. I, dis uh, I was going to disengage. Yeah, but it's charge also charging you itself. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Like, it's not going to take a cheap shot at your back, but it's running after you. Yep. But luckily, you managed to sidestep just in time. <laughs> <laughs> you do see it start to stop. It's skidding up a little bit of dirt with its feet as it turns around to look at you. Thick Cut, what are you up to? At this moment, the uh, Thick Cut is uh, just headed and just makes it where he points at his eyes and points it at the, both of the sheep's eye and then just books it. He doesn't want to be here any longer. <laughs> <laughs> One of the sheep scampers along behind. Aww. And tries to bite you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You just feel it, like, nipping at bits of your trousers and your sleeves. Stop it! It's the only trousers I have. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, what's the rest of you guys up to? Uh, well, I'm panicked from the sheep, so I'm trying to make a decision. Do I run away from her, or do I try to fight? You could always fight. Yeah. Disadvantage, though. Uh huh. Gonna hit with my stick. <laughs> That's a miss. As your stick comes down, you realize, oh, it's not entirely the size of a fluff. Yeah. And you just sweep through the, cr the cloud. It is definitely gonna get you, though. Yeah. It yeah, did. But... <laughs> mm -hmm. As it gnaws on you. But the worst thing is, you can hear steps from behind as something starts to race up from behind. Ah. Oh. oh no. Does ah. <laughs> a 14 hit? Uh, it does. You take, you take free bludgeoning square in the back uh. as you run the fuck over. <laughs> and you got this horrible, you got this horrible rasping bleat in the back of your head as it just keeps making noise at you to get you to go away. Somebody help me! <laughs> Run, you fool. I can't! <laughs> Use your legs, you idiot. Jablonska, what are you up to while you're surrounded? I disengage and take my one sheep with me. <laughs> Come sheep, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> They're not done with you yet. <laughs> no. It's fucking terrifying for you, Bornegi, because you were frightened of a sheep, but the problem is all sheep seem to look alike. You're surrounded by terrifying imagery. Fuck it, sheep, they're revolting. <laughs> They don't go. They don't follow you past the Cyclops. <laughs> Bornegi, how are you doing? Okay. Um. So I'm engaged with the sheep. If I want to cast something like Acid Splash, can I still cast that on sheep that are other places? Yeah. Yeah. Also, you got one piercing as you reached up a finger. Yeah. It okay. slightly hurts. It frobs quite badly. Just run! Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna cast Acid Splash on these two. <laughs> on those three. Oh, it's three? Okay. So Depending on who you're targeting, are you targeting the one in the center here? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so we yeah. splash the... No, no, it only goes to one other creature, that's right, yeah. Yeah, it says two, so... Because I am just frantically, I'm surrounded, and I'm not happy. There's a horrible noise of a screaming sheep as it just melts and flops dead. And another one just sort of that just sort of bounds away. But yeah, there's a horribly softening, withering corpse of a sheep. The wool eaten away in record time. And is disengaging a full action? Not as a goblin. It's a, a goblin. Alright. So I'm going to use my bonus action to disengage from the one sheep. Incidentally, because of a dying sheep, all the sheep you guys had with you are fucking booking it. Yeah. No! They are panicking and running directly south. I guess if this is elevated, that's difficult terrain, so I can make it to here. Sheep being... Fake cut. Sensing an opportunity, runs back, grabs the dead sheep, and runs again. <laughs> it's falling apart as you're running with it. There's legs coming off, there's bits of flesh and chunks. It's just falling <laughs> apart in the acidic mess. I try to pick as much as I can. Maybe at least but you know what? Little... It's kind of cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Twig is going to try and calm his sheep down. As you race after it, managing to keep up, you manage to put yourself against it, bring an arm round, and just sort of slow it down. There's right, two. Sheepy. There's right. two more on the run. Can I make an acrobatic check to jump on one and ride it? 
I'll give you an acrobatics check, yeah, but it's not going to go smoothly. <laughs> Just fucking try it. Yeah! You are now on the back of a sheep. It's not really like going on a horse or anything. It's also not really supposed to support your weight, so it's kind of struggling. It's a bit... It's a bit pathetic and horrible noises coming out of it, but it's trying to just shake you off, so give me a deck save. Hey, now someone can catch up to it and try to calm it again. Yeah! You're managing to hold on there. Luckily, there's a lot to grab. <laughs> Fucking sheep rodeo. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Unfortunately, as the rest of you guys run... Bonk. <laughs> oh! Bornegy! Oh, no. You watch as all of his huge, muscled back rises up in front of you. It feels like the sun got a little darker. The Cyclops takes in the view of fewer sheep. Of a trail of slowly dissolving pieces of sheep. <laughs> it continues to glance around and then looks at you with one blinking eye. It was him? Only Bornegy has to roll initiative. Because <laughs> you guys have all ran for it. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. You've got a chance. <laughs> you better get out of there. You cut the clutch yet. Bornegy. Five, ten. Oh, hang on. I got one more to roll. <laughs> Come on. 25, 30, that. and then the dash to action. No. Don't forget you can... no. no. You're not first. <laughs> oh, no, fuck. <laughs> As it races around. But it can only get that far because of difficult terrain. Now it's your turn, Bornegy. <laughs> Don't forget, as a goblin, you can double dash. 5, 30, 35, 40. I'm just booking it for this tree line. <laughs> Are you calling your horse to come along? No. No. No time. There's no time. You get a real sense of fee fi fo fucked <laughs> As it stomps behind you, you realize, oh shit, those are massive strides. This thing moves. I, I could have run off the map with a double dash. Well, you crap. technically are. You're off the map. Yeah. But he walks 40 feet. Yeah, I'm not looking behind me. Which is probably for the best, as you see, as the rest of you might glimpse back to see the horrible noises being made and a large chunk of rock being lifted out of the ground. <laughs> 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 You're very lucky, though, that it is myopic. As the, as the huge rock is hefted by one hand and thrown through the air <laughs> at Bornegy. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Smashing down a little bit behind, but holy fuck, that was some noise. You're not oh, out shit. of range. Oh, shit. <laughs> Keep running, we have sheep! <laughs> it's not up it's not next to you but it's still chasing you Bornegy <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run you're gonna need I can. Yeah, you're gonna need another round to get away to get fully out of range here yeah we're just dashing <laughs> just run the fuck away shit 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 it's behind again me. he's stomping he's stomping behind you there's another huge rock pulled out of the ground and tossed through the air Smashing down again. As you keep going, the ram eventually gives up. The Cyclops roars out, pissed off. And we're out of combat. You have a couple of sheep. <laughs> ah, victory! What would have been the damage modifier if that rock had hit? <laughs> I'd probably be dead. <laughs> yeah, I'd be fucking dead. I even <laughs> It could have been worse. It could have been really bad, because he only oh, has a bad modifier for his rock. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's not nearly <laughs> as bad as the rock, but... Born, born to keep a pancake. <laughs> 
But you come away with looks like free sheep. Yep. 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 And we lost a horse thing. That's, that's good and all, but what do I get? <laughs> what did you bring? You got a shitload of coinage. <laughs> Yeah, I got a pouch full of... You've like, got a football coins. of melt of mashed together coins. I did it! You've got a bunch of gems that still have chunks of rock on them. And one the size of your head. Yes! Sadly, it's a zircon, but you don't know that. Yeah. Let's, uh, let, let's take these things back. Then we can go out again and get more! Yeah! We got teeth, we got stabbies, we got bows, we got meat. Good haul. Yeah, we're just gonna be proud of us. <laughs> we did things. So you start off the travel, heading back for your cave home. Night coming down just as you get near the, near the ruined area where you fought the necromancer and her zombies. Night has come down fully. It's uh it's a little bleak. You're suddenly realizing there's a lot of noises at night. There's a lot of various kinds of wild animal and things. Doesn't have the safety of the old lair. And, Bornegi, you're still listening for fudding footsteps, and you're pretty yeah, sure I'm... you heard them a few times. In angry bars. Not gonna go to check. <laughs> So with night coming down, you guys do have your dark vision, you can see, but you've also been walking a lot of a day. Yeah. Hey. How about you say we take a rest here? Mm. My fat rolls are moist. <laughs> <laughs> I need them to, keep, to carry my sandwiches. <laughs> well, can you cook up that sheep? Yeah, Let's the well, sheep look at you. Um, I'm, before he gets too far with that, I'm going to cast a spell on what he's... Oh, no. Huh. <laughs> well, it's as pure as a rotting carcass can be. Well, acid-splashed spra acid carcass. Yep. Yeah. Or a goblin, that's good eating. Yeah. For most people, that's good eating. Normally, they live on cheese and bread. Dig in, boys and girls. You start up the fire of a sheep, just sort of not really liking the fact that one of her own is being tossed on the fire. <laughs> but also not liking the quiet night. Can I try to comfort my sheep? <laughs> you can. Definitely doing that. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, the sheep settles down and just becomes a big pillow. It also I does continue to nip at your clothing. I still hug the sheep. Sheepy. <laughs> Quig, you have much of the same success. Although, it doesn't get too close to you or rub against you because you're just covered in so much. I'm uh, assuming it's, uh, it's selecting mushrooms of choice. It's just eating some that are growing out of your hair. <laughs> and you slowly take stock of what a day it's been. Killed the traitors, stole from a giant, got some sheep. Basically heroes. <clears throat> we got dragon's tooth. It, somebody took that? Of course you guys did. Yeah. Yeah. Although, Yolmik is... As you give a shake of a bag, it feels a lot looser. It still feels heavy. As you peer inside, it's all just dust and ash. No! <laughs> There's a lot of dust and ash. <laughs> I told you Ponicky is useless. <laughs> And for a little bit of fun, as you guys are sitting there, putting the feet up, getting ready for a bit of a snooze, because you don't really want to go wandering around at night because there's evil things out there like goblins. Wait a minute. There's things worse than goblins. Lots of things worse than goblins. 
You hear off-tone singing. You hear the stomping of something heavy and big. Not as big as a cyclops. It's still large enough. But it could be. You are my true love, Rinaldo. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and slowly coming, slowly coming into range through the ruins of the town as you huddle around your campfire and comfort your various sheep. You can see a gnome hanging on to the torso of some great armored metal man. As he's throwing himself around, sometimes hanging on the arm, clambering up the back, singing so loudly. The metal armored man is wearing a dress. It's quite a fruity little summer frock. A lot of pattern. Fake cut immediately uh, starts stomping up the fire and tells everyone, Be quiet. <laughs> I know who this is. <laughs> Why do you think the rest of them scream no? They know who this is. <laughs> yeah. I feel you back in the neighborhood. Uh, well, are you going to try to be quiet, no? Definitely. <laughs> this is clearly some sort of demonic demon. The Meccano man, while in a dress and wig, is looking very fancy, but also quite strong and tall. While the gnome has a couple of big fuck off crossbows slung on his back. Oh no. <laughs> Pick cut. There's only one thing for this. Unfortunately, you do a belly flop to snuff the fire out. <laughs> My beautiful love, Renau. Oh! Hello! Um, yeah. That um, sheep has a sore throat, Ronaldo. <laughs> or could it be someone pretending to be a sheep? No! no. Fuck off! <laughs> I mean, bah! <laughs> Very uncivilized in this sort of area. <laughs> Ronaldo, fists up. Be cautious. Hello there! I don't think he's discovered us yet. As, he, as the <laughs> Mechano Man starts stomping towards you as you loudly proclaim that. Ah, there you all are as a big bright light starts to shine on you guys. <laughs> I can my sheep again. It's alright, it's just a little cantrip. Oh my, it's a pack of goblins! Armed gob- Ronaldo, defend me! What? <laughs> Scatter! Wait, wait, wait. Ronaldo, defend me! <laughs> no, no, that's on me. That's I have met nice goblins before. One of them. He was a very nice lot. I even let him take a pebble. Now. You're quite the merry band. What are you doing with those sheep? You don't look like farmers. Hey, hey, we, we just started hurting. We gotta learn somewhere. Fair enough. So, what are you all doing out here? G going home? Cheapy. As the tiny voice from inside the massive fluff pillow comments. <laughs> oh man. I was just wondering, you know, you look like an interesting bunch. Ronaldo, keep those arms up to be ready for a slightest movement. You wouldn't happen to have seen a small wooden box about yay big as he extends his arms out as far as he can, then brings them up past his height, he even has Ronaldo lift them up a bit to indicate the size of his massive box. Where was this box last seen? Funnily enough, it was in my tent at the time. But then I woke up and 
Gosh darn it, it wasn't there anymore. No, that seemed tense today. No, 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 I'm not looking for the tent. I'm looking for the box that was in the tent. But if seen not no seen tents, then haven't seen box and tents, because haven't seen tents box was in. Haven't seen box? Yes, that's the main thing I'm wanting to know. Have you seen the box? No seen box. No tents. No boxes today, just ogre. Uh, uh, just cyclop. Cyclops? Oh, I haven't seen one of them for so long. They're usually just very peaceful farmers and raise animals to, to feed them so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a slap where I was to talk about the, the... I'm sure it's just coincidence. Keep yourself ready, Ronaldo. So you haven't seen the box at all? No. Maybe ask Lady that went that away. A lady, you say? Hmm. Well, I might as well. It's not really my purview. Yes. Yeah. She she went that way after raising zombies. And oh, that is annoyed. ghastly indeed. I heard a town nearby had problems with that. Hmm. Maybe I won't go that way then. Don't have much need for a woman who enjoys the dead. Let's see then, yes. She also he just, cursed a lot. As he just looks over at you guys, you've all got the sort of cat eye thing when the light hits it. <clears throat> you've all got your various gear and you're cuddling your sheep. It's a bit like turning the lights on the crack house kind of thing. Uh, I'm hoping I'm looking like a little pe pe a pile of refuse by a tree. Yeah, you're just a load of... You're just a load of crap. But occasionally that's being chewed on by a sheep. But very carefully. Oh, all right I'm then. Note of which ones are these? Sure, you haven't. Okay, you haven't seen the box. That's I found tracks leading this way. Never mind then. I'll continue to search for it. Thank you very much for your help, Ronaldo. Let's continue our wandering. Also, pick me up. Hold me. I feel the chill of the night. And with pistons whirring, you see this thing lift up the little dude and cart him away, carrying him sort of like you would a child, although with goblins you tend to drag him on the ground. And slowly off into the distance. You don't make fun, he pops up from behind his rock. Ah, dude, he's gone. <clears throat> I hug my sheep. <laughs> no, take the sheep. <laughs> These sheep are now therapy animals rather than resources. <laughs> They're so soft and cuddly. <laughs> and then we go when to Castalia, who is not at all like this. <laughs> when you've slept on a cave floor as much as us, it's nice to have soft. <laughs> and the night becomes still again. Maybe some of the pregnant we can we can breed them. Oh. Should we have taken bigger sheep then? No more time. Yeah, we have a bad one. Close enough. If not, maybe we can find more sheep elsewhere. A crazy inventor's trunk goes missing, and all they care about is more sheep. Or <laughs> goblins. Yeah, stupid box. Yeah. Dumb, no yeah, no goblin box. knows of a concept of a treasure chest or anything. <laughs> I mean, it could have stuff in it. He, he is an inventor. Of course he didn't. He just, it, yeah, he just said it was a box. It's a dumb box. I have, minus, I have a minus two modified to intelligence. Just said box, didn't say treasure chest. <laughs> also, where would we know where to find box? We're missing from tent. Well, if Box is in tent, then that's where it is. Uh, box was in tent. Box tent. Yeah, we know see tent, so we know see box in tent. Simple as that. Right. Have we passed any drag marks around the place? You haven't really been looking for them. 
Okay, we'll keep an eye out for next day. Maybe maybe we find the box. Wonder what is in box. Morning does arrive. The night was quite peaceful, in fact. You all managed to find a good little hidey hole to shuffle down in. It took a while to get the sheep down inside as well. You make the journey back to the cave, to the home, to the safety. And there's no real reception waiting for you. I mean, I mean, Yogu is just there, sleeping. His wife is there, drunk. You got the feeling they probably went for your things because one of them is wearing one of your old shirts. But you've arrived with... <laughs> Full of him. <laughs> but you've arrived with a couple of your very own sheep. Yep. Yep. And, the and the dragon tooth. Oh no, the teeth are just powder. Oh. Yeah, he looked in the pouch and they just became powder. Well, we, no, we don't have the horse anymore either. Damn. You no, wouldn't I have a horse, don't worry. Magic is a temporary fleeting thing that has to go, has to resolve itself violently. Just like love. <laughs> oh, that would have been amazing though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys are at the entrance to your hovel. You bet. No, we ha we have returned. Fuck oh, off! Let's... Go do it yourself. Okay. Take okay, a fucking bath. Going you going smell to, worse today. To, um, say hello. I walk, to the... I walk off and just the punch. <laughs> Fuck you. Man. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I take the shield and bash him. Fuck you! <laughs> fine, fine, fuck me. Remember your place, shit. Yeah, enjoy your fourth chin, fat boy. <laughs> I will. <laughs> because he'll be taking out of your rations, asshole. <laughs> As you all start to step on inside. Hold on. I'll be right back. It's a shame we're almost at the end. Yeah. No one's cheering or greeting you or anything. I mean, there's a few waves at Jablonski. There's more waves for the sheep, to be honest. <laughs> Greatest victory. Almost. Unfortunately, we're generally the hungry states Sucks. and gazes. You get the feeling these might not be pets. To the rest of the goblins, yeah. not really going to be pets. Not going to be a long-term plan. You around the corner to watch the sentries who are actually on duty for once. Actually looking quite prim and proper. But you can hear snoring from behind one of the helmets. I nudge him. Wake up. <laughs> oh, oh. G twig. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we we, we back now. No, I just thought all the stuff I chucked out had come back to get revenge. Yeah, yeah, I um, that. I'll, 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 I'll cheer you in. The expedition has returned! Fucking finally! Come in, come in! <laughs> yeah, we hit in. Ah, there's my pack of elite piss streaks and shit stains. Welcome. So... One, two, three, four. Okay, you're all here. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, you're all Did here. Did better than good. Yeah, we, we, we checked out the old um camp from the bloody track. Yes? There are, yep, there are a few still walking around. We dealt to them. Good, good. Yeah. Um, here's their equipment that they... Uh, de with a uh, dropped uh, afterwards. All right, let's have yeah, a look. And he starts look, as he yeah, starts to pour through it. Just look at this from the from the champion. I got this. Yeah, throw the great sword on the ground. Okay, okay, that has use. This is rusty but, checked hey, out shit. This will do for the kids. Um, we could burn those bows. Know. It's about all we're useful for. Okay. Okay. You've got yeah, more than I this, right? Than... Yeah. Yeah. They had teamed up with an elf. We drove her off. Nasty piece of work, that one. Okay, I don't care. What else have you brought back? 
Uh, we went, then we traveled off and we found a, 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 a cyclops. Is he, we, he was a Don't cyclops. care what you bring back. Sheepy. There we go. See, Jablonska knows how to answer us, Twig. And gold. It's very nice to see you again, Jablonska. <laughs> Wait, gold? What? Hang on. Repeat that word to me. Gold. Gold and jewel. He just sort of motions with his hand. Get it the fuck out. Come on, let's have a look. I nudge our sorceress. Yeah, the Bornegy, give him the gold. Yeah, Bornegy's still gone. Rips his arm of the fist of the of Bornegy. Here it is. Just a clattering of all that shit, including the football-sized mound of wedged-in coins. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now we got. Bar Did it see you take these? No. 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 Did it see you take the sheep? No. 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 Did it? No. no. All right then. Perfect. <laughs> We don't want one of those coming after us, because they're very good trackers. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, okay. Right. This is going to be a tough one. He starts rolling the coin mass around. Okay, let's take a look here. I'm going to need a really hot fire, and a lot of goblins with big metal sticks. We're going to have to pry this shit apart if we're going to use it. The oh, gems are fine. You can just hand that shit can in. Use the oil. What? Can we use the oil? No, we can't use the fucking oil. What? Do you not remember what th what happened with the oil? No. Go get lunch. Anyway. Okay. That's it. This yes. is it. This is all you brought I'm back. I'm getting lunch. I'm getting lunch. Instead of just being in the cave. Three sheep is okay. We can. And even boys. Yes, the only other one that was a ram. Well, yeah, you didn't bring one back. One yeah. You've just brought back free, free girl sheep. Okay. That's okay. We have coins now. We can actually just buy one. Or pretend we're yeah. buying one and steal yeah. it. We'll work that out. Uh, buy one and scope, well, scoping the place out. They won't. They won't, they won't know. We're looking at years of that. There's not too many of us yet. We can't really walk into a town properly with authority. Um, okay. Riches. Food. Materials. Cuddles? Jablonska, why are you holding on to it so tightly? It's so soft. It's soft. Okay, maybe we'll keep one of them alive. Anything else? Let's see. Um, dealt with the traders. Yes, that was Got good. Well weapons. done. Got the sheep. Oh, uh, some weird gnome is looking for a box. Do you have the box? No. But he's weird. And there's the box out there. So why are you here? He had a big guy in a dress. Metal guy. Weird. He was he was also had crossbows. Lots of crossbows. I'm noticing there oh. aren't crossbows here. Taking crossbows from the person who may shoot us was not a good start. The big guy looked very big. Yeah. Yolmik, what do you do if someone is big and has weapons? You kill him and take him, boss. Yeah, Marshall credits? Anyone got the correct answer? You turn around, hide in a bush, wait till his back is turned, then stab him. You see, she gets it. Good girl, Jablonska. Why didn't you do that? Why is he still walking around with those crossbows with his metal man? Because there were two, and the metal man looked like he'd need all the blades. Hmm. Box out there, though, with some weirdo. 
Gnome did not know where Box was. We thought it best to drop off what we had, otherwise we'd be trying to drag sheepies around with us. Okay, okay, I can give you credit for that one. That was a good idea. Sheepies can sometimes not be the quietest animal. They're, they're just sheep. It's not sheepies, it's just sheep. Say it. Okay. Sheep. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right then. So there's a fancy box out there, but some weirdo wants. We want it. We want it. Want it. Go get the box. You're getting the fucking box. We get the box. Congratulations! Get the you box. get dinner and get the fuck out. But because I'm finally going to do a one shot, we're ending here. <laughs> also, as you can imagine, there is no one for you because Pig Cut already emptied it. <laughs> but we might. It was a simple little attempt. Didn't really go quite as planned. Need to work on that a bit more. There's still a bunch of scenarios left for you guys for the next time we use goblins. Yeah. <laughs> there are a few more plots. Yeah. But yeah. It seemed to work pretty well. We went in with within the time limit. Yep. Yeah. That was the main goal of just trying to make it. And it's just a simple little exploration. Welcome to a Westmarch style. <laughs> Choose a direction and off you go. Okay, yes. Well, in this case, you made the this goblin. This is a huge success for goblins. And the main thing is just hope you had fun with this. Oh, yeah. Yep. Next time I need to think of more ways to put in a bit more RP. Maybe throw in a puzzle or two to tax the brains. But there is some extra stuff ahead. And we'll get to that sometime. Anytime that we have multiple players out, basically. Mm -hmm. Next time, hopefully, we'll be Raxus, where they will cut down a tree. <laughs> but for now, Yemek's Horde are actually doing okay. And we found out what happened to the Necromancer. But her story that was continues. <laughs> Not that cathartic. She walked away. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. after the and fill in goblin clothes. <laughs> yeah, because you guys stole everything she had. Yeah, that is cathartic. And we found the missing fuggle comp. Oh, he's not missing. He's just hanging around that area. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we should avoid that area then. <laughs> Well, I just mean in this region, like, the party passed on through, but some of the other guys are still hanging around. Look Far was heading this direction. There's also, of course, the towns. Maybe you guys will be a bit minted next time you go. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities in this little mini thing. It'll just be for a little kickback sort of enjoyment. Mm -hmm. And at least it seems like the goblins are fun to play as. Yeah. Just need to think of more interesting scenarios that have something to them. But yes, next time we'll be Raxus. Actually, we should test that out. Maybe next time we'll be Frest if everyone's here on a Friday. What do you think, Botch? Should be. Don't think we'll have any issue with Braider or Arena. Should be okay, then. We can finish off that one shot in the third session. <laughs> yes, now to kill the stream.